I like how we both know it's like, <laughs> we, we did that one commercial sober. We're like, oh, we can't do this again. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> and, and, and to piggyback off that, let's get right into it. If uh, you're looking for motorcycle parts, check out Old Bike Barn at oldbikebarn.com or on Instagram at Old Bike Barn. They got everything you need for your uh, Harley Davidson. Your, but more importantly, um, well, it's not more important, but it's a. Uh, um, people who have old vintage Japanese motorcycles have a harder time finding parts, you know, for those things, especially if they got custom bikes. So Old Bike Barn has a, the biggest selection of uh, vintage Japanese motorcycle parts that you're going to find. But also if you need stuff for your Harley or any other bike, um, their site is easy to navigate and uh, broken up by, uh, um, not only is it broken up by, by make, but it's also broken up by like chopper parts, cafe racer parts, things like that. Uh, so uh, there's all kinds of categories to check out there. And they got their own line of uh, motorcycle apparel and riding gear and whatnot under the White Knuckler brand, brand. And it's all leather goods and knives and whatnot, all handmade in the USA. So check them out at oldbikebarn.com or on Instagram at oldbikebarn. And if you have issues with anxiety or sleeping or uh, sore muscles or anything, you're a five-star athlete or you're, or you're just fucked up in the head or you just can't sleep, you're insomniac, you need to check out Cradle Lake Clear um, to get some of the best CBD that there is on the earth, not even just on the market, just on the earth, right? Check them out, CradleLakeClear.com, um, and uh, they'll walk you through their whole process of how they uh, process the CBD. It's made out of all organic stuff, best stuff out there. So check them out at Cradle Lake Clear. Now, if you got a pet that needs uh, CBD as well, um, the uh, on the flip side of it, uh, Vet CS, uh, our boy Swiss, uh, his wife and uh, a vet. I, w- I was just thinking that. Like, is your dog stressed out? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe give us some Dude, CBD. <laughs> Frey is a jittery little fuck. I gotta <laughs> fucking get her. Grim's got his back legs all fucked up. But I got I, I got a fucking goddamn fucking circus at my fucking house right now. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no. But Vet CS, uh, they have all the uh, all the CBD stuff you need for your pet, for dogs, cats, and also horses. If you are equine in nature um <laughs> you fucking huss <laughs> <laughs> but yeah no and it, it's a it's a again all organic all good stuff um it was founded by a veterinarian vet tech and uh our boy swiss who was uh mainstay in that in that world so check them out vetcs.com um if uh you are in a motorcycle accident and uh you need representation you need to check out law tigers at lawtigers.com or go to facebook and type in law tigers and your state to find the uh, local office for you um again as i always say i hope that's the one sponsor you don't really need to talk to but if you do find yourself in an accident you need to check them out it's a motorcycle law firm that specializes in uh, motorcycle accidents and injury cases founded by motorcycle riders for motorcycle riders um if you are looking for clothing spring's coming up you probably outgrew all your shit from COVID, or actually probably slimmed down because COVID's over, and you need to get you need to get size smaller or whatnot. Go check out amirthamia.com. Um, our, our boys own a clothing company called Amirtha, the most legit streetwear brand that there is. So check them out, amirthamia.com. And if you use the promo code Big Truth at checkout, you get twenty percent off your order, and that's on whatever it is you order. And I meant to say with Vet CS. And also, Cradle Lake Clear, use the code BRIGTRUTH at checkout, B-I-G-T-R-U-T-H, and you will get a big percentage off your order with them as well. Um, I'm a fucking idiot right now. I'm not doing these commercials very well, but we're going to go through. Because I keep looking and we're laughing. <laughs> this is, I'm like waiting for dumb shit to happen. I'm like, it's like I'm like all scared trying to blow through it so I, before it gets too fucking idiotic. Um, and if, if you know that laugh, you know who my next guest is going to be, but, uh, but we'll, we'll wait for the announcement. Uh, if you're also looking for more clothes, but you're a little off kilter and you're into weird shit like the occult or fucking serial killers or like fucking arcane science or fucking... 70s boogie vans or doom and stoner music or fucking choppers and whatnot you need to check out zach doom's company it's called heavy at heavy.bigcartel.com um they have all kinds of clothing and nefarious wares for your fucking shitty lifestyle uh check them out heavy.bigcartel.com on instagram at heavy clothing um uh, who else we got here? If you are looking for information on motorcycle riding, motorbiking, chopping, whatever you do, uh, you need to check out Chop Cult at chopcult.com, the biggest online 
uh, message board and information resource that there is out there for the motorcycle world. Um, and, you know, you get on there, it's an old school kind of um, message board, all broken up by topic, uh, easy to navigate, easy to find. But they also have an online swap meet where you can buy, sell, and trade pots. They got a uh, events page, which is particularly useful. You can find out about motorcycle-related events happening all across the country, all across the world, actually. And, uh, you know, they got all kinds of things going on there. And you check them out at chopcult.com and on all social media, simply at chopcult. Um, if I haven't sold you enough on clothing, you need to check out uh, Pitchfork at pitchforkny.com. Their clothing and record label uh, owned by our boys. And, uh, you know, they got a new New York Hardcore LP, compilation LP that you need to check out. Some upcoming bands and whatnot. Um, and they also are a mainstay in the punk, hardcore, and metal world. All the bands that you listen to are wearing Pitchfork stuff. So get on the board, pitchforkny.com. Uh, might as well come to my shop sometime. Chop, <laughs> chop ahead if you're ever in New England, you know, <clears throat> doing things. Um, but yeah, full service brick and mortar motorcycle shop. It's not a lifestyle brand. It's a fucking. It's not some fantasy shit. <laughs> it's not some fantasy shit. It's, it's where it's, it's where fantasy becomes reality, and reality is a fucking horror show. Chopahead.com. There we go. Uh, and uh, we got a we got an online. Uh, you can if you if you're not local to New England, uh, if you are local to New England, come check us out. Thirteen County Road, East Freetown, Massachusetts. Uh, 508-995-6764. Um, we got a parts counter. A showroom we've got motorcycle apparel riding gear whatnot everything you need to get on board come check it out try on helmets don't just fucking guess your size and then have to return it and piss everybody off um you know do all that stuff and we got a uh online uh place where you can order things <laughs> <laughs> we could not we could not this, this right. thing on the fucking internet <laughs> this fucking there's this thing called the internet and if you go to chopperhead.com on there you can order parts and apparel and swag and whatnot um and admittedly i don't have that site super up to date but we're set up with everybody so whatever it is you want a thunderheader you want some basani pipes you want fucking just call, call truth and just ask them a million questions yeah thanks yeah please do that it's fucking awesome um and uh, yeah, no, but you know, for serious, we can get whatever you need. So give us a call, give us a shout, come by, and uh, you know, definitely if you're in New England, just come by the shop. I, you know, I get these motherfuckers from like a town over that order shit. I'm like, well, you really making me ship shit? I'm just gonna go fucking drive it to your house. It's cheaper, <laughs> quicker too. Like, you know what I mean? Like, just come by. You know what I mean? Uh, we're open Monday. Big, big through scary Saturday. truth over here. No, no. no. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, that's it. And if uh, for more information on the podcast here, check out BigTruthPodcast.com. And last but not least, um, you know, I want to thank all the sponsors for, for helping this uh, go and, and grow. But more importantly, I want to thank the uh, Patreon subscribers because these are people that are just listeners that uh, believe in it enough to donate to the show to keep it going and growing. Uh, so shout out to all the Patreon subscribers. You guys fucking rule. And if you are interested in finding out more about that, go to patreon.com slash big truth. There's four different levels that you can sign up for and they each come with their own uh, special things. And uh, for my Patreon subscribers, um, for those of you that are listening right now, just know that I got a special thing going on with Crater Lake Clear. I procured some stuff for you guys. So uh, be on the lookout for a little contest soon. Um, I'll post something up this week. But without further ado, let's get into today's episode right now. Yes, once again, we have liftoff. I want to thank you for tuning in to this episode of the Big Truth Podcast, and I'm here tonight with my right-hand man, Ryan Packer. What's happening, brother? What's happening, man? Thank you for having me back. Yeah, of course. I mean, Ryan, uh, we just looked it up. His first appearance was two years ago to the month. Um, we were in the fucking the, the, the throes of the, the pandemic. Yeah, beginning. I was freaking the fuck out. Yeah, man. Uh, April of 2020. Everybody, you know, everyone was no one knew what the hell was going on. Um, but also is a regular participant in the M4 podcast series. You've been on, I think, every one of them, right? Uh, 
I think so. I, you know what? And I was, you might have missed one or something, or if you were on tour or something. I was just thinking, right? I was like, on the way down here, I was like, God, don't get as fucking drunk <laughs> yeah, yeah, as yeah. you have been, right? So I've been here for what an hour. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm a couple it, of drinks in already. <laughs> but we're very tame. Like it's it's very tame tonight. Like um, yeah. Usually we don't hit record until we're about another forty five minutes from yeah. now. <laughs> things are a little. Yeah, it's little. quarter of ten. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's uh, I'm, I'm, we both worked all day. I know. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm second drink and uh, shot yeah. in. Yeah. Um, it, and glad to and be back. <laughs> it's, it, we had to do some shot some some uh. Shooters at uh, McGill got easy one up to help get this fucking Tito's and tonic down. Yeah, I fucked up. I don't know. Yeah. I just say, hey, 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 this fucking Tito's and soda. But I'm, I don't know. Apparently, uh, I don't know the difference between tonic and soda. Got a little bite to it. A little. <laughs> what's that, what, what are you calling it? Quinoa? What, what, um, what's that shit you're saying? Oh, you just made me quinine. Uh, quinine. <laughs> quinine. I don't know what that is. I don't know. I, I think it cures malaria. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got it on a fucking scurvy. <laughs> yeah. Fucking malaria. Yeah, well. <laughs> You know, put a piece of we got the we got the uh, cranberry, no scurvy. We got yeah. the quinine, no malaria. We're good. It's a, yeah, well, so yeah, we're bougie now. It's not just Tito's and soda water. Now it's Tito's a, and it's tonic. Got, it's got to be a little fucking cranberry too. Yeah. Tito's and tonic, <laughs> with a little cran, a Cape Cod. For you, local is, 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 yeah, is that is that a local thing or is that like a national thing? Is it is that no? A Cape I don't Cod? think anyone outside of fucking Massachusetts calls it a Cape Cod. Yeah, no shit, huh? I remember when I when I turned twenty one, I said highball. And it was like, the fuck you talk about? Like, my uncle drank highballs, right? Yeah, like, yeah, hey, make me a highball. Like, it was, you know, Crown Royal Ginger. I thought that's what the fuck it was. Yeah. And I ordered one. And they were like, what the fuck you talking about, you idiot? Like, <laughs> highball just means, like, drink. Like, liquor. Yeah, yeah, you know I, mean? I thought that meant, wasn't it the, the glass? Yeah, I don't know. Like, I, I, like, everyone just looked at me like an idiot. I never said it again. All right. Well, the first person who... Uh, <laughs> Can tell it, us the history yeah. of fucking eyeball. Shoot me a DM on the, on uh, Instagram at Big no. Truth. And uh, first person who tells me what a highball is, and I verify. I'm not going to look on Google earlier. The first mm -hmm. person that, that DMs me and says what a highball is and puts an end to this, I will then Google certify it, <laughs> yeah, cool. and that person will win a yeah. prize. Yeah, I, was, I swear From Crater Lake Clear. <laughs> and uh, all the sponsors at the Big Truth Podcast, I'll put a little package together. Yeah, and you know what? And we were actually, we were talking about this earlier, and we're going to get to the new Slapshot record and all that, but uh, the Patreon subscribers, we're going to figure out um, to get you a single of the the new Slapshot song that, that we're going to release first before yeah. everybody else. So if you're not subscribing, subscribe to Patreon. I don't yeah. even know how the fuck it works. It's uh, patreon.com slash big truth. And uh, you can go there and there's uh, different levels you can pick and you can subscribe to and you will get behind the scenes information and, and things. <laughs> tasteful nudes. Tasteful. <laughs> tasteful uh, dudes. Uh, tasteful nudes. Tasteful dudes. <laughs> That's a new series. <laughs> it's, a, it's a new cable series we got going on. Tasteful uh, no. dudes. <laughs> <laughs> Ah. It's like, oh, instead of only fans, it'll be only mans. <laughs> <laughs> we should start in one call only dance. <laughs> only dance. <laughs> and this is be nudes and dance. <laughs> ah. Yep. It's good to have a fucking drink with you, man. Yeah, of course. I've, man. I've been super fucking busy. Uh, yeah. Obviously, you've been super busy. Yeah. Um, Spring is here. We're not even broadcasting live from the third fucking lift at Chophead. We got to. We had to put a makeshift table up because it's so fucking bananas yeah, in there's here. There's fucking right bikes now. everywhere. There's <laughs> bikes and parts <laughs> and bullshit everywhere. But you know, spring's coming. Everyone remembers they got a bike on the first warm day, and then everyone <laughs> yeah. fucking mad needs it next week. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got motherfuckers right now calling like, "I need my bike rewired," and I'm like, "Yeah, I could do that in February." Right, yeah, yeah. It's fucking idiots. Yeah, but you know, <laughs> hey, you know, it's not not everyone. I mean, not that, that I can talk. My I, I yeah. blew the motor in my in my yeah. fucking chopper yeah. six months ago, yeah. four months ago. Yeah, but you know, there's been a you know we've been. There's a lot going on, and we'll get into some of that. But before we get into that, let's talk about something we got going on while we're talking about giveaways and stuff. Me and Pac are raffling two of our prized possessions off. Yeah, we are. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> all I wanted for fucking years, dude, I was like, I want a fucking long bike. I want a long bike. Yeah. This fucking meatball gets a fucking a bike made <laughs> by Chopperhead. Uh, they agree on a price. The fucking meathead apparently decides to fuck around with like what, how much he wants to pay. About what are you guys? About two thousand dollars off, roughly. Well, so you know, the, the long and short of it is, there was <laughs> there was a an event that he had to plan for that he wasn't accounting for, and it and it, it just there was a difference in price. So he he couldn't take it. So um, I gave him his deposit back, 
And then you bought it like literally 32 seconds later because <laughs> you were trying to get it from me the whole time. The whole I was time. like, dude, it's like, this this bike bike I'm building for a guy. I can't, I can't, I can't. And then, uh, but you know, uh, circumstances change and like, and I got that 41 Ford and I was like, always, always just wanted Such to have a, a pre, car, pre-war right? car and uh, nice finally one got one head. and it was local, dude. It's like from right down the road. It's a, you know. It's like the best of everything because I was like, I got the fender skirts for it. I was like, all right, now I just got to put some bags in it, fucking drop it down, make it look like a molded piece of metal floating above the fucking half inch above the ground and fucking yeah, such uh, good body dudes were going to come out. Paul and all them were going <laughs> to come out, rumblers and uh, dudes uh, upstate New York, fucking respect. Uh, we were, they were going to come out one weekend. We were going to chop it and shit, you know, do mild chop and fucking, I was so stoked because that's always like a bomb, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. always what I wanted. And... um but you know, sometimes uh, you have to sacrifice to make different moves in life. And uh, we came into a situation where my father um, was selling his bar, which is like a bar I grew up in, uh, the Dipper Cafe in New Bedford, Massachusetts. And uh, so it's, it's not just bar. We bought. We bought. We're not buying. We bought the money. Well, yeah. we're, we're fucking balls deep, right? Like, we, yeah. yeah, we're balls deep in this <laughs> process. A lot, a lot of money in, like like yeah. contracts are signed, all that. Uh, it's a building with a three-bedroom apartment with a bar on the first floor. So we bought the building and then the business. So yeah, yeah. That's, I, that's what we bought yeah. or are buying. This is speaking like someone who might have some legal... <laughs> There might be some legal separation <laughs> we, between we have, we have the two entities. Really spell this out, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, we're buying a building that contains a bar and also an apartment. And uh, so we're buying a property. Um, and uh, But it's been in my family since I was a kid. It was my uncle's bar. Then my father bought it off my uncle. And um, my father and his business partner, uh, had, they had to close the bar down during the uh, the, the pandemic, cause as uh, all bars out here did. And uh, they just didn't open up. Uh, back up because it was just a lot of hoops and pains in the ass and they were getting ready to retire from it anyway so uh, me and Packer are, are balls deep in the process of buying the bar but with any new business venture comes more capital than you ever can think fucking of, imagine can imagine and <laughs> yeah. and and then you know there's so much into just buying something like with commercial property that you don't even think about like because you got to you got to put money down for a deposit for to sign the purchase and sales agreement, like as a as a deposit, and then it's like you got to pay these lawyers, and these lawyers want a big amount of money to have on retainer, and they're like, oh, if we don't use all the hours, this you is get the first part. Then yeah. Yeah. and then <laughs> we'll, it's we'll like keep billing you, and yeah. then it's like okay, and then it's like, and then you got to pay for like appraisals, and you got to pay for this and that. You, you're putting big Titles, money into yeah. something before you even, you know, actually. F- finish purchase in the fucking property yeah. that you're buying. So uh, needless to say, we also have some uh, ideas on how to expand that business. So uh, we need to raise capital. So we are both sacrificing things that we. Uh, yeah. So I want to, I want to, I want to I say that, right. Cause there's a lot of assholes out there. They're like, go fund me, blah, blah, blah. you're going to save the fucking music scene. Yeah. Like, no, 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 no. We don't, we're not fucking begging for money. We're selling our shit. Yeah, I, we're raffling. I, I, our I shit, would, yeah. I would like to have my fucking bike. I, I can have a fucking bar, or I can have this fucking bike. And unfortunately, I can't have both right now. Yeah. So it is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we, we have the money for the down payment of the place, all that. Like if this is literally like, I mean, kitchen stuff. There's a million fucking things. Yeah, like I said, it, it's yes. a operating and expansion, uh, expansion expenses. But so, it's a 1972 shovelhead uh, stroker motor. Uh, if you've seen it, it's the Yeti's taint. We had it at Fuel Cleveland. Um, and uh, there's been pictures of it all over the internet. Um, uh, it's got the fur, the Eddie fur seat. Like it's fucking. <laughs> it's a naked rat, ladies on it. <laughs> silver. Uh, it's a, it's white with uh, silver flames. Uh, painted by George Quirk. Pinstriped by Brian Cheney. Um, and uh, the seat uh, was uh, covered in fur that we procured from uh, a Himalayan monk. And uh, it was a uh, we had uh, none other than Wes at Counterbalance do the uh, the uh, cover the the seat pan for us. And um, you know a lot of work went into that bike. No expense spared. It's a it's it's a show bike and also like a fucking rider. Uh, you know it's old school as it gets. Fucking foot clutch. Fucking hand shift. No long, front brake. No front brake. <laughs> long long brake. Springer. Long Springer. 12 over Springer by uh, Bone Orchard and uh, one of the best Springers on the market right it's now. such a fucking rad bike, dude. I'm so pumped. I know. I know. It, it's fucking badass, right? <laughs> and uh, the 41 Ford is like fucking all original, fucking flathead in there. It's not, it doesn't get some like fucking 350 thrown in there. It's all Ford. Um, interior is fucking nice. Interior was redone probably within the last 10 years or so because it's it's really nice uh primer black 
Dude, they, Admittedly, they, they, in the pictures, it was a little wet out, so it looks a little a little shinier than it really is because it's primer black. Uh, fucking runs. Fucking, I was riding it all. Three on the tree. Fucking, you know what I mean? Fucking. They're only original ones, so so come get it before it gets fucking molested and fucking yeah. chopped and fucking. I said I put fender skirts on it. I went through. Uh, we we did new wheel cylinders. We did new brakes. You know, we went through. Uh, we went through everything. It's a. Uh, Get in it and ride it. Drive it, I mean. <laughs> so, yeah. So, this is the deal. It's $100 for a ticket, right? You get a, you get one ticket. You get two chances to win. First place gets first choice. They choose the bike or the car. Second place, then after that, we choose another name, and they get whatever the first place person didn't take. Yeah. So, if, you're, if, if you bought a ticket, you're in Germany, you win the bike or the car, then it's fucking on you to get it to Germany. Yeah. I don't we, give a we, shit. We will assist that. in the, in, I, in the shipping. Out. Like, <laughs> meaning, meaning we will... We we'll hand it over to the shipper. <laughs> you know what I mean. But um, it, what we're trying to say is, that it's at your expense. You know what I mean. This yeah. is good luck. I hope. I hope it goes somewhere rad. Like I, I, I sold my twenty nine Ford to a guy in Germany, and fucking yeah. Guy, I was literally just stood in my driveway. The guy, the shipping guy, came, put it in a trailer, off to New Jersey, ended up in Germany. Yeah. Shout out to the Rumblers. I, one of the Rumblers guys actually got it in Germany. Okay, cool. Yeah, small world, right? Yeah, that's how it goes. <laughs> but yeah, no, but but you know, um, so there's only four hundred tickets sold. You can buy as many as you want. Uh, there's plenty of tickets left. I think we're only at like 125, 130 right now. Um, you could buy 275 tickets and probably win both things. And that's cheaper right. than buying both of those fucking things. Cause yeah. you, you can know, sell one. Yeah. yeah. You could sell one and, and fund the operation. Right. But um, for real, that, that bikes, that's a 25,000 all bike. Yeah. You know, like fucking buy all the fucking tickets and literally sell the car if you don't want yeah. it. And it's a 41 Ford. It's pre-war. It's, it's Ford. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's not some weird offshoot, like, you know, some weird shit. And uh, we all know what those, I mean, that's probably what, like a fifteen twenty thousand dollars $20,000 car. Yeah, easily. Sits, yeah, easily, yeah. yeah. Um, you know, like I said, we just gone through everything on that. It's fucking, I was riding it all last fucking spring and all last fall and whatnot. Um, uh, you know, it's pain. Me, it's going to pain me to get rid of that cock because I always wanted one. But yeah. that's the shit you got to do. Like you want to make moves in life. You have to sacrifice. It's not all just you can't have it all. You know what I mean? You, you, you know, uh, what I will say, though, is that and it's not worth as much as the Ford probably. But when I do sell, when we do get rid of these, raffle these off um, and the bars up and running and doing well. Like I am gonna reward myself with like a sixty six, sixty seven <laughs> convertible Eldorado. Like yeah, yeah. yeah. The, 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 do you know what I'm on right now? I I I've, I've been really looking. So I've got I've got the two boys now. Yeah. I'm looking. I'm looking at a a, a sixty four uh, Galaxy five hundred convertible. Right. Yeah. It's yeah. like it's that's the fucking family cruiser. Right. Yeah, like yeah. That's that's it. Like I don't I don't want to buy a fucking forty five thousand dollar fucking sixty four Impala. Fucking yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like a nice Galaxy five hundred be all right. Yeah, but galaxies went up a lot too. Yeah, I mean, there's still this the, the I seen a couple like twenty five, thirty grand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, but that's all Midwest. done though. That's yeah, they're, all they're, done. they're done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's it. Like I don't, I don't, I don't have time. I get two kids now. I can't. Yeah, I can't yeah, yeah. rebuild anything. You're gonna get back on the 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 uh, the the. Uh, you, you used to want a wagon. You gonna now's yeah. more now's the time to have <laughs> yeah. a wagon, dude. I did. I did. My my ex wife really wanted a wagon. I was like, I was like, fuck, dude. Like that's actually a fucking pretty rad idea. Yeah. But now I'm just like, man, fucking, I need this <laughs> fucking convertible. <laughs> yeah, 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 man. Because yeah. so for like four days we can ride with the top down. <laughs> yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. It's four days in like late spring when it's not raining. Yeah. yeah. And it's not fucking two hundred. Yeah, yeah, that one night that you can ride around the city with the top down at night. <laughs> Makes right? it worth it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My problem is I like cars that are like 19 fucking feet long, and it's like fucking... <laughs> Fucking tell me about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we no. both, if you guys, yeah. If but you I live know, in Freetown. It's a little, a little easier. Yeah. yeah. We we both had fucking long Lincolns that we had to get rid of. Uh, yeah. You know what? I did. I had to get rid of. I was get divorced. I fucking. I know where to put it and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How quickly that fucking money went. <laughs> yeah. Well, shit. We're like, all right, we're gonna take this money, put yeah, it into we'll something. Flip it. It's yeah, fucking fucking great. Yeah. Nope, just went fucking. I. You know what? I ended up buying that. I bought that. Um, I bought the fucking Ford with that money. Did you? Yeah. 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 And I put some of that money towards the um the Panhead. That yeah. I, got I mean, I guess, I guess, yeah. yeah. I mean, like that's uh, a yeah. bunch. Of, a bunch of that went into the, the, the long bike. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, there you have it. I guess I guess I did spend some of that money wisely. Yeah. 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 But yeah. So quote yeah. unquote wisely. So just 
you know, not for nothing. You know, there's a lot of people raffling shit off. There's a lot of people raffling off seven thousand dollar bikes, trying to sell two hundred tickets and whatnot. Uh, and then there's people doing legit ones. And, uh, and then there's some people going to be like, Ooh, raffles are lame and whatnot. I just say it, we do mega raffles. Like we've only done two raffles. The first <laughs> one was two fucking Lincoln Continentals, a, a, a sixty four and a no. sixty six. And right now the second raffle we're ever doing is a seventy two stroked out shovel, like full custom fucking show bike built and a forty one Ford. So you know if if, uh, if you haven't seen these, go to go to. Uh uh, at Chop Either Ahead. of our Instagrams, yeah, at uh, Big Truth or at Chop Ahead or uh, at uh, Believe in Packer on Instagram, and uh, uh, all the details are there. Um, I'll put it up on the Slap Shop page as well on, yeah. on Facebook. All that bullshit. And we're going to be blasting it out. Some people might get sick of it, but just you know, new people see it every time. Um, but yeah, I mean, so literally, all you got to do is Venmo at Big Truth or send a uh, PayPal as friends and family only to. Uh, Truth at choppahead.com. And uh all the just go to just go to Instagram. Go to my Instagram at Big Truth or at Choppahead or at Believe in Packer. And we got all the information up there. And uh just read it through before you start asking questions because nine times out of ten people ask questions that the answer is right there in the description. But um you, yeah, you, you'll be surprised how many fucking dumbass fucking yeah. questions you get. Like Yeah, you know, no, it's, it's just what it is. Just, you know, try and try and Try and put a little effort in because, honestly, everyone thinks raffling is, like, easy and whatnot. It's, like, the worst thing. I, it's I, it's way better to just sell. Like, we sold the Lincolns for less than they were worth. We yeah. raffled them off yeah. for less than they were worth. Um, and uh, it was more work. It's like a, a second job just dealing with all the fucking bullshit. Like, yeah. keep you, it track you everyone. More the than pain. I do, too. Yeah, like, just, I'm still answering a bunch of fucking dumb questions. Yeah, and just answering questions and whatnot. So keep it to a minimum. Everything's in, in the description. Uh, but yeah. hundred dollars, two chances to fucking win, yeah. two grand prizes. Yeah. A one in 200 chance of winning. You know what I mean? 400. No, because you can win two part. times. You can win two times. All right. See, so there's a one in 200 chance of winning. That's better than any lottery that there is out there, right? Like... You know, maybe you win thirty bucks on a bullshit scratch ticket, but you know what I mean. You ain't you ain't winning mega bucks. You could have a legit chance of winning a seventy two Chevrolet. It's still one in four hundred either way, right? Because if like if you don't win the first time, then it's one in three hundred ninety nine. Oh, okay. <laughs> right? I guess. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> We'd have to consult the statistician <laughs> yeah, about yeah, this. Sure. So then, if you don't win the first time, False it's news. one in 399 <laughs> chance to win. False news. Yeah. Which is still way fucking better. What other chances are you going to get? Right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I just... I lost fucking two grand fucking gambling on the fucking Now, so that said, season, so. don't get butthurt if someone bought 30 tickets. No one's done that yet. But if someone buys 30 tickets and wins twice, it, it can legit happen. Now... <sighs> We're not doing any fuckery. We're going to broadcast. When all the tickets are sold, we're going to make announcements. We're going to make a date and time. We're going to broadcast it live. And we're going to go to random.org, which is a random number generator. We're going to plug in 1 to 400. And we're going to let that computer um, just pick a number. And then at random. And then, you know what these, I mean? These things are real. I have, I have won two. I won. And, and, and actually, shout out to fucking Bandu. He's not yeah, doing so yeah. well right now. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and, and no, and no uh, you know, we were, we were making fun of GoFundMe and stuff before, but Vanda has some serious fucking heart issues. Uh, he had a heart attack. Yeah, when, when, when I'm begging for money for our business, Vander, Vander's sick. Like he, yeah, he's he sick. fucking had so, a heart attack. So what I want to say is go to his, go to his Instagram. There's a uh, GoFundMe set up there. Vander, if you don't know him, uh, Vander's like a, a a fucking pillar in the East Coast chopper community, even though he lives in the Midwest now. But um, you know, out of New York, man, like great fucking dude, great fucking dude, man, and, and uh, give you the shit off his back, and and is is like fucking balls deep in this fucking world. So, so. he he had a raffle to raise money for a girl that was fighting cancer. Yeah, and and she was having trouble. So that dude donated his motorcycle and his truck. And uh, I saw that, and uh, I, I was like, "Oh yeah, he's, like obviously it's a good cause." Blah blah blah. I bought it. I bought ticket number one. Yeah. And motherfucking number one won it. I won. I won the shovel head, and I won a fucking uh, square body fucking Chevy. Yeah, C ten. Yeah. Yeah, well, I forget what year it was. Yeah. It was still a C10. Anyway, so then I fucking sold it to Tom Turkey because he lost his fucking truck and he's like a single dad. Motherfucker blew the transmission. Uh, but it's like, I'm trying to do good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, you yeah. know, pass along the good vibes and all yeah, that. Yeah, this yeah. fucking poor bastard to literally carting around his, like, his single dad carting around his daughter. Yeah, blew the transmission. Yeah, so, yeah. so he still has it anyway. But yeah, yeah. 
because it's a fucking cool truck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, badass truck. Um, and uh, yeah, so you know, like the I don't even know what I'm gonna know. But yeah, man, like Van is a good dude. You know, check that out. Also, uh, you know, while we're talking about fucking Puerto Rican Mike's going through like open heart surgery right now, yeah, so shout out yeah. to our brother Puerto Rican Mike and love you, brother, and uh, send good vibes his way. A um, lot of bullshit going on in the last two years, man. Fucking a lot of bullshit. A like, lot. Yeah, man. Not even related to fucking. A lot, fucking, a lot. A lot has fucking changed. A lot. A lot of, the thing that rhymes with blovid, uh, <laughs> but but like just the world's fucking crazy and fucking a lot of people passed in the last couple of years. So fucking appreciate motherfuckers while they're around, man. But yeah, yeah. So fucking that's it. I was thinking about that on the on the fucking ride down, right? It's like oh, like I was telling you off here, like oh, I gotta be fucking funny. It's yeah, like yeah. I'm just fucking all they want to do is rant and fucking all that shit. But I I, I can't complain, man. Life life is fucking good. As good as it gets, yeah, <laughs> yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. the fuck we are. Thank you guys for listening to our fucking yeah. half an hour fucking commercial. Yeah. Fucking no, but you know what? Because you know the thing is, is like there's a lot of people got different opinions about raffles and whatnot, and it's like it was good just to give a little bit of background and, and more in depth. We yeah. always try and do videos for it because it yeah. makes it more personable or whatnot. Yeah. And we'll do some more videos, but. Um, yeah, look, look, I just, I hate, I hate when fucking dude just beg for money. Like, I have this business idea, fucking give me money. It's like, yeah, I don't yeah. know. Like, I'm setting up a GoFundMe. Help I'm a me, fucking, help me. I'm an adult. Help me win my, help me attain my dream. Yeah. No, help yourself, <laughs> motherfucker. Give some shit up. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, yeah. That, that's it. Like, I've got some toys. You've got some toys. We're fucking, we busted our ass to get them and fucking, here we are. It's on to the next fucking venture. Uh, yeah. I can't give my kids a fucking barbershop, you know what I mean? A fucking, yeah. we'll put them to fucking work and fucking. Put them to work at the bar. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I get I get no fucking retirement out of fucking cutting hair or fucking playing the fucking slap shots. So. There's no no retirement in choppers either. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking That's it. Selling the selling the shit you 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 kept. You know what, what I mean? What, what are the two old pricks and fucking uh, uh, on the Muppet Show? Yeah, the, the, what is, the what's going to be those guys yeah. in the fucking booth? Yeah, <laughs> just talking shit to everybody. They come to our bar. <laughs> We're already those dudes. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just have a venue for it. Yeah, come down to the Dipper Cafe. <laughs> Get shit on. <laughs> Purchase Street, New Bedford. Uh, and, and a little uh, New Bedford history. Purchase Street is where all the hookers were picked up uh, that were killed in the New Bedford highway killings in the 80s and uh, 90s. So, uh, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a history-rich area. <laughs> Wonderful view of the bay. <laughs> Wonderful view of the bay. Uh, be right across the street from the new train station coming in. Uh, also, another tidbit, uh, the Dipper was New Bedford's Bucket of Blood. If you And if you're not familiar with what the Bucket of Blood is, I don't know if that's a New England term or, or a worldwide term, but it was the rough and tumble bar in the port. You know what I mean? Because New Bedford is a port city. and it's An old whaling town, if you're if Old you're not whaling familiar. town, yeah. So, and, it, and it was actually the first licensed bar in the city. It's not the first bar in the city. It was the first licensed bar in the city. I've been, I've been doing a ton of actual research uh, about New Bedford. I don't know anything about the fucking town. I'm like, yeah, oh, cool, yeah. I'm buying a bar. <laughs> Let me, maybe I should learn some shit. In the, but, in, the, in the 90s, when I was growing up, it had the highest um, HIV and violent crime rate per capita in New England. I believe it. Yeah. Which is also weird because it was per capita the richest city in the world. Uh, not in the 80s and 90s. Maybe the yeah. 1880s and 1890s. <laughs> no, 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 yeah, during the whaling days. Like, yeah, yeah, for, yeah. for real, the, the richest city in the world. Yeah. Like, per capita, like, there was more money coming in through the whaling and all that shit. Yeah, that's why but, there's, like, these dope-ass captain's houses and stuff yeah, and all this shit. All absolutely insane. And then... I'm gonna... I'll bring you around. I'll show you this fucking stone one that is so fucking badass. And it's, like, three blocks from the projects. You know what I mean? Like... Yeah. Let's just buy it, dude, right? Like, uh, well, that'll be the second purchase, right? Yeah, we'll yeah, just yeah. have, like, fucking dude mansion, right? Dude <laughs> mansion. <laughs> there, there was Babe Mansion uh, in the city years ago. It was a fun party house. Yeah, and yeah. A bunch of girls lived there. So, yeah, yeah, was, so we just have dude mansion. Dude mansion. We still get a... We still have to buy our fucking uh what was the name of our cemetery <laughs> wait no remember it was wait, on, did we have a conversation about buying a cemetery no no we were gonna buy a, a mausoleum that like the fucking the mausoleum oh, in oh, the cemetery oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> i forget dude i thought wasn't that on a podcast before it was on the. It was on one of. The, it, I dude. I, I'm I know, not, not joking. To, not I blacked be, out drunk every single time know, I've been on this I know, fucking I know, thing. I know, I know. And I'm not gonna get that drunk this no, time. No, no. Although no. I just made another drink, by the way. Uh, the taste that quinine. <laughs> oh. If I said it wrong, I'm sorry. But I, it's Q U I N I N E. That's how, but whatever that is. Quinoa. Quinoa. <laughs> Queenie. Quinine. Queen. Quang, quang. Quinoa's in my salad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but fucking um. But yeah, not to be uh, you know morbid, but it was when Ryan was still, Ryan. yeah, yeah, I, and because <laughs> he was going to do the everlasting flame, like 
fuck yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> like I, it's it's fun as fuck getting like blackout drunk with you. Yeah, and then recording it. <laughs> yeah, I I have not been able to get through a single fucking episode that I've been on. It's so hard. So I'm like it's embarrassing, bro. Yeah, I, I hope it's fucking entertaining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I, I I haven't received any complaints, but uh, you know, people fucking seem to think it's funny. Wait, uh, you but, see the numbers? I don't. Yeah. <laughs> so what I do do. I, did, I can't listen to them either. I never listen to any of these. But what I do is I like will skim through and listen to like a minute of it here and there just to make sure the audio's nothing's fucked up. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, there's the 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 one with Ryan. The last one I did listen to because I was trying to find when he was singing um, was it Christina Aguilera or something. It was something he was singing, and I was trying to find that. Uh, but yeah, I uh, did. I got I got the audio of him singing "Fucking Killing Frost." <laughs> Fuck, I played it for you again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck, yeah, God yeah. bless that kid. Fuck. Did you play that to choke? Uh, yes, I, play, I played a choke. Yeah, like when it happened. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. called him or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 And I have the video of it, and I immediately sent it to. <laughs> but yeah, it just came back up. I was like, "Fuck, dude." <laughs> yeah, it's tough, man. It's tough. It, you know, that's a weird thing about social media, right? And and like camera phones and videos like you got like straight ghosts in that shit you know what i mean like cause we never had like in, had that before other than like pictures right yeah yeah but now you got video and audio. I got phone, like, dude, voicemails yeah. i got voicemails from like eddie i got vet I voicemails from everybody dude like yeah. it's like i can't get rid of it you know it's fucking weird like you leave like a way bigger imprint now yeah like as a ghost you know what i mean like you know yeah. it sounds fucked up to say but you pass like think about a kid right now right that's gonna get on like instagram when they're 10 80 years from now 70 years from now they die like their whole life is online yeah yeah that's fucking bananas like yeah. weird to think about right yeah well and that's like all right so now let's backtrack two years ago when i was on this fucking show i didn't have fucking kids right well i'm yeah. sorry my, my kid was just born yeah yeah so now uh divorced remarried i have a stepson and all that like it's been a crazy fucking two years yeah right? yeah yeah so like that's the shit i gotta think about now right like at some point i'm gonna have to sit him down and be like look don't put your fucking dick on the internet yeah like it's gonna fucking come back you know yeah, what i mean like like gonna have the whole like don't be a fucking donkey like yeah, yeah. all of this shit is gonna come back all of it all of yeah, it there's yeah. a fucking kid because you, you hear about shit like where people are getting like quote unquote like canceled or whatever for some shit they said like 10 years ago you know what I mean when they were like kids think about, think about the dumb shit you said when you were like 16 yeah. right well that's it and, and now they're gonna come after you when you're 40 they're like yo I said that when I was 16 you know what are you gonna do like there's a 16 year old kid in Quincy this past year town I live in and like 13 he was saying some shit and like dropping end bombs and all that right and like it got wind when he was 16 and then they're like Hey, remember when you fucking said this, you piece of shit? Like, they shut the fucking high school down. Like, they fucking were, like, literally, they were walkouts and all that shit. And, like, this, I'm not fucking condoning what the kid said. Like, no, it, no. it was fucking dumb. But he's a fucking dumb kid. Yeah. They fucking literally had, like, the kid, I don't know what happened to him. Like, it, that all kind of just disappeared. But, like, there was, like, walkouts of, of the high school because this kid was going to school. It's like, this didn't happen on school property, blah, blah, blah. But, like, it was just online. Like... Yeah, so, it's insane. Yeah, so I mean, if the kid was still talking shit, like, yeah, yeah I get it. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. like, um, obviously, I don't know anything else yeah, besides yeah, they yeah, fucking yeah, walk. Yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. oh fuck! But like, yeah, like, so that's it. I gotta, I have a talk with my children now. Like, yeah, you gotta be careful, be fucking, man. you know. I the, mean, but like, I mean, I would anyway, just because you gotta. That's how you are on the street, right? Like, obviously, keep a good fucking name. But yeah, now, yeah. now it's just fucking worldwide and not yeah, just no, in keep, the fucking neighborhood. Keep a good name throughout the world. <laughs> yeah, throughout yeah, the greater, now every motherfucker is going to see it and it's fucking the, recorded. Through you know? the worldwide community, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It used to just have to be at a good rep on the street in the town. Yeah, in the neighborhood. The city, yeah, you'd be yeah, all right. In the yeah. neighborhood, yeah. yeah. Yeah, for real. But now, yeah, it got fucking way bigger and, and, and all that, you know. But Yeah. I, I am, every day I'm glad that I lived in a time like that was like, I like grew up before this. Because I can appreciate it now, but you know, like, yeah, a bit. I mean, it's different. If, if you if you approach it like you approach, like, say, gun discipline, right? Like, if you're around weapons and all that shit, you understand what you know, fucking trigger discipline is, and all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, and like yeah. having a fucking loaded gun is not a fucking big deal. Yeah. So maybe, hopefully, there's some of that that yeah, like kids yeah, yeah. fucking realize like the potential destruction that could fucking be. Yeah. Who knows? Ho hopefully, who knows? Yeah. Like you just gotta. 
Yes, yeah, because I know, like, I didn't have to fucking worry about so that. I never shit. even thought about that. That yeah. that adds like a whole extra dimension to parenting, right? Because you have to like parent your kids on so the, internet, let me, let me internet protocols yeah. or whatever. So my, my my five year old, right? In my house, there is no. There's not a lot of rules. There's a couple of rules. There's no rule, like consequences. Yeah. Fucking do whatever the fuck you want to do. I don't give a shit. Like, you're hungry, go eat. Fucking, it was you know, it's uh, 10 minutes before bed, I don't care. If you're yeah. hungry, eat. Yeah. I don't want to fucking hear that you're, you're up late than you should be or, or whatever. Like, that's, that's on you. You're fucking tired at 7 in the morning when I wake your ass up. I don't care. Yeah. I don't want to hear it, right? Like, those are the consequences. The sooner you learn that, the, the better off you are. Five-year-old swears like a motherfucker, and it's fucking hilarious because he's got a little high-pitched voice. Yeah, yeah. And he uses every word fucking grammatically correct. It's super fucking funny. We're in a fucking supermarket. We come around the corner. There's a long line. He's like, oh, fuck. I was like, yeah, dude. Oh, fuck. This sucks. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. half the place turn around. They're like, you fucking serious? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah, fine. Yeah. Doesn't swear at grandma's house. Doesn't swear at school. That Like, has trigger discipline. Has triggered this <laughs> fucking. I was like, the second that you 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 swear when you're not supposed to, like he's gonna be in trouble. Has trigger discipline. He fucking gets it. <laughs> it's fucking great, <laughs> fantastic. You know what I mean? Like you you you, you teach like actual responsibility, yeah. and give it to them, then they're gonna be fine. So far, so good. So in 2023, everyone look out for Ryan Packer's uh, parenting uh, book called Trigger Discipline. <laughs> That's it, man. Let them go hold the load of gun. Let like, go, go fucking go figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> they will figure it out. Give them actual fucking responsibility, right? And like, mm. that's it. Like, you fuck up, then all right, cool, man. You, then you can't do that. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, cool. Yeah. You know, like, I don't care. Like, you want to wake up and fucking eat a bowl of fucking sugar, like, in, if it's in a form of fucking, you know, cocoa puffs or fucking something else, it's like, oh, you have a stomach ache? Yeah, no shit, dude. Like, yeah, yeah, you have something it. fucking better. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's a banana right here, dude. Some, some granola or some shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. you know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't, I don't want to fucking hear it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. I, I, I will offer you better things and like tell you why they're better, but yeah, yeah. you know, that's it. I just, uh, also look for his follow up book called "I Don't Want to Hear It." <laughs> <laughs> so he that's my five year old. Just play minor threat song. Yeah. I don't want to hear it. Five, five year old, five year old is a different kid than my two year old. My, my, my two year old is like my blood. He's a total fucking shithead. Right? Yeah, yeah. Like, total <laughs> fucking monkey, but he's all right. He's like. Yeah, yeah. He seems to be a little excelling at like uh, physical activity. So yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll just push that. <laughs> Five year old kid, he's smart. <laughs> he didn't get it from me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it's funny, man. It's funny hearing the, the, the tales of. of, of uh, that's of, that's of, my whole life. Now, young dude. Colin, and, uh, the, the, the craziness. Yeah. Colin and Vega are, are, are literally my entire life. My wife, my, my two kids, that's all. <laughs> the fuck i do now right like well that's it's a lot of it's a lot of responsibility so it's a lot of time right well yeah yeah like i get i get a lot of, i get a lot of thoughts on fucking parenting <laughs> i never wanted to be a fucking dad yeah yeah and everyone's like i wouldn't fucking trade it for the world i'd trade it in a fucking second dude you yeah. me, dude? like <laughs> doesn't mean i hate my kid it's just like you know what fucking life was pretty fucking chill like i had a full life Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. but it's like you're somehow like you don't love your children or you're an animal. But 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 look, like if if you're telling me that like I never fucking met my children ever and you just weren't a parent, like yeah, all right, like life didn't suck back then. Yeah, it doesn't <laughs> suck now, but it's just different. You, you know what I mean? Like like every fucking dude, they they say like parents say this like dumb shit all the time. They're like, I wouldn't trade for the world. Like yes, he would. You fucking liar. I feel like that's people just trying to make fucking. Yeah. Proclamations. To, to, <laughs> they just say it out loud. Right? They're just trying to. They're just trying to convince themselves. Yeah, not yeah, you. Fucking for real. You know what I mean? Yeah, like for real. Like convince themselves. It's just so dumb. Like, it, like that's the worst part of parenting is talking to other parents. Like at the playground and shit. Yeah, like Because yeah. your kids, like my kids, are a fucking donkey. Like, like he swings at other kids, and I'm like, dude, don't do that. Like, yeah, yeah. It's like I don't know. Like, kid kind of sucks. Like, like, yeah, do that. Yeah, yeah, it's totally fine. He sucks. <laughs> like, you know, but no, like it, it really just weird. You know what I mean? It's like and now you got to talk to this fucking asshole that, like at the playground and like. Ooh, what's up with your face tattoos? Like it's like no, I'm not here to entertain you, man. I'm here to entertain my fucking child. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> but yeah, I mean, parenting. Yes, I'm I'm embracing it. I'm enjoying it and all that. But like, you know, it's fucking cool getting fucking hammered around your fucking motorcycle and fucking yeah. not having responsibility. That's fucking pretty cool too. I did enjoy that. Yeah. Or just sleeping through the night. That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sleeping in. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like a lot of it. Like, yeah. I, don't know. I, I think but, about yeah, it. So. Like, because I, I never. Had, I'm on the other end, right? Like, I never had a kid. Like, so like my businesses and like yeah. you know that type of shit is what takes up my time. And uh, 
you know, I know I'm going to die alone in a fucking, in a nursing home. Like, if I make it that far, it'll be like a fucking shitty death. Like, you know, yeah. like, but that's, that's, a, that's an interesting you, take. Yeah. Cause you don't yeah. have, you don't, you know, I'm not going to have another like, kids around or anything. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But, the same time, like I hope I don't make it that far. <laughs> yeah, let me let me say that. I'm gonna get old one day, Holland. I love you, Vega. I love you. Hey, remember I changed yeah, yeah, yeah. I love you both. You yeah, both have a very nice return, house. Time to return the favor. <laughs> no, no, for real. Like I, I, and not to name drop a uh, uh, trip uh, from the unseen. He, he's got a couple kids, and and when my my son was on his way, he said, "Look, I don't have as much fun." But there is a lot of joy in my life. Sure, yeah. yeah. It's like, a different thing. Yeah. yeah. And like, I like, all right, cool. Fucking words of wisdom from, you know, blah, blah, blah. And like, I guess that's, that's it. Like, I don't, I'm not having fun. Like, you know what I mean? As, as, as I used to, right? Like, yeah, yeah. how many fucking shows have I missed since? Yeah. Like, every single one of them and like, all this shit. But like, yeah, like, obviously there is, there is some joy and it's fucking great. And it's like... Yeah, there's gonna yeah. be joy and pride, like you. Know, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, like and I watch you change. Like, I, like at first you were like so dead. You're like, fuck, you know, but I don't want to yeah. do this. And like now, like you, like, I'm 42 years I old. I didn't, I didn't have my first kid till I was 40, right? Yeah, like, but, I literally, just what there wasn't in me. To, I know, but I see yeah. how stoked you are on it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, I, yeah. I, I, I'm enjoying it as much as I can, and like, yeah, there's definitely a, a lot. You're just bringing a real talk. A lot that just, sucks. There's a lot of parents. Like yeah, everyone just feel like, oh, the same, but they new. they ain't gonna say it. They can only say, "Oh, it's the best thing." It's not, dude. It's I a mean, fucking pain in the ass, dude. Yeah, it's fucking freeloading assholes. Fucking, <laughs> fucking. That's what I said to my dog. <laughs> like, you, <fucking." laughs> you know, but you know what I did? I, I have looked this up, and in most states, uh, there is no minimum age requirement to be on a motorcycle. Mm. None. Fucking zero. There is some rules. They can't drive the motor. They they can't, can't, you have to have them in the back. You can't put, no matter how small they are, you can't be in the front. That's a little creepy. Right. Right? Yeah, they can't be in the front, right? Like, yeah. I feel like my two-year-old would it's be safer in the front. safer in the front. Yeah. But no, has to but be. But these are the same people that make gun laws, people that have never held a gun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. People making motorcycle laws have never ridden a motorcycle. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So, so my two-year-old, so um, as long as they can fit uh, their their feet are on pegs. Doesn't have to be the stock pegs as long as they can fit on pegs. <laughs> that's it. So now they make uh, a couple different types of harnesses. So I they have pegs built in. This yeah, this one with fucking it's like, like little stirrups. They're like fucking. I swear to God, they're stirrups on my fucking hips. So fucking dude can put his feet in them, and that's it. I, it's literally like. So you wear them like a like a I wear them like a fucking parachute, like <laughs> like, like, like Yoda. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for, real, for real, like Yoda. I wear them. I wear Harlan like a fucking parachute. He's like a two year old, right? And like his feet go. In the fucking stirrups on my hips yeah and like I'll, I'll, I'll ride the road glide with them i'm not gonna put them on the chopper right yeah, yeah, yeah. but um i will give my fucking ex ex-wife fucking uh, uh proper due respect because i was like what do you think of this she's like he'd probably be into it like yeah, she, yeah. she wasn't like you fucking idiot like what are you doing blah yeah, blah yeah, blah yeah. she's like yeah fucking looks cool <laughs> fucking yeah. good luck you know, was she, he into it i haven't i just i just ordered it yesterday oh you just ordered it so right. then i ordered another one uh for vega the five-year-old it has like a, a block pad that go so it's just like a, a like a weight training belt yeah you know, like a kidney belt with a like a foam block that has actual motorcycle handles on either side of the block yeah yeah and then he wears the parachute thing over his shoulders and all that so there's like a six inch gap between the, yeah. my back and his the front of his helmet so like the little guy needs to be like right up on me yeah 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 the older kid he can be a little further back he can put his back against the backrest of my bike. Yeah, and, yeah, and then hold his own handlebars and all that. But so. he's still strapped to you. Like, oh yeah, so he's still he's still stra yeah, strapped yeah, yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, but he just has a little buffer, so it's like he feels like so, he's riding with the body. Yeah, so yeah. just his face isn't literally yeah, yeah, touching yeah, yeah. my back. You're like, not nuts to butts <laughs> yeah, yeah, with yeah, a fucking yeah. five year old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. So yeah, I'm I'm excited to ride with the with the boys this yeah, uh, yeah. this spring. I got uh, my my wife just got a um a sports for Christmas, so yeah, we'll be riding all summer. The 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 family that rides together, fucking. Rides together. Yeah, yeah, dies together. <laughs> dies together. <laughs> dies together. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Fuck, dude. I was trying to say that. Edit that yeah. shit out. You can't accent that with the jazz <laughs> hands, dude. <laughs> you can't do that. Let the fucking die, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck no. it, dude. So, the, uh, was it Bill Burr that had a fucking thing about that? Like, oh, he died doing what he loved. It's like, no, I don't want to fucking die riding yeah. my motorcycle. Yeah, like, no, 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 yeah. <laughs> I mean, it would definitely, it would suck, like, yeah, if I... 
some weird fucking forklift after the accident. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, I guess if I had a choice. <laughs> yeah. Well, do you want to die on your motorcycle? Or do you want to die when you're 85 years old, shitting yourself with dementia in the fucking <laughs> alone in the fucking yeah, yeah. In, in the fucking yeah. nursing home? Yeah. These yeah. are the things that keep me up at night. Because <laughs> <Okay, laughs> yeah. I don't got kids to fucking worry about. So I gotta, you, I gotta, you and I are gonna fucking die in this bar. That's, yeah, yeah, that's exactly. Fucking we're gonna do. <laughs> fucking, <laughs> Speaking of the fucking bar, I've been working on this fucking pizza recipe. South Shore Bar Pizza is. A fucking thing, yeah. And I, and I'm not we're trying br- to fucking live up to the the big guys. No, blah, blah, no, blah. No, no. It's, it's, but we're bringing it to New Bedford. Our version of social bar pizza. So come down, have a fucking pizza, drink yeah, beer. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll, no, no, we'll, no more commercials about the bar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've been working hard. Fuck you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you know, it's a big thing going on. Yeah. So, and I, I've been getting hit up about it because like it comes out here and there. Good. But um, so. This puts uh, all the questions to bed. Leave us alone. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Buy some tickets. Ah, yeah. Fucking, uh. So so yeah, on top of this shit, right? So I work full time. I've got fucking two children. I also play in this fucking band uh, that we've, we recorded a record. I don't even fucking know when we did it. Last year? Yeah. What the fuck? Uh, last summer? I think it was. Yeah, yeah. July, July of 21. We went down to Houston. Uh, Johnny Real of uh, the Bruisers and the Street Dogs, um, Dickie Barrett's former assistant. Uh, yeah, yeah, he recorded it. We did, we did thirteen songs, thirteen slap shot songs, and like nine Stars and Stripes songs. So you recorded two records, two records for the very low price. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, coming out on Bridge Nine Records, both slap, uh, Stars and Stripes too. Stars and Stripes is coming out too. So. We'll talk about the Stars and Stripes stuff after. But uh, so the Slap Shot record is done. I just got the mixes the other day. Uh, there's still some notes. I think we're going to change a little bit in the mixing, but like it is, it is what it is. It's done. Yeah, yeah. For, for all intents and purposes. We're going to hand it in hopefully within next two weeks. Yeah. Um, is Bridge Nine going to master it or are you guys going to get it mastered before? Um, I have no idea. Yeah. There's no more fucking money, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> hopefully fucking bridge. Here's a mixed record, bridge yeah, yeah, yeah. Send it to Master. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. Hopefully, hopefully, yeah, Bridge Nine fucking pays for that part of it. And uh, shout out to Chris Rand, fucking Bridge Nine, fucking solid dude. That kid uh, fucking rules, and I've been talking to him. Like, I don't know if you're supposed if, to come on. With, I we just follow, follow the Bridge Nine Instagram page. That yeah. kid, he's done so much with so little over the years. He's a fucking bootstraps type of fucking dude, and he's literally building out his space by himself, and it's fucking. Yeah, it was it was it was hard to be like, hey dude, uh, I'm yeah. gonna need money for that record, dude. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> no, no, and, and like he's literally he's got so much money into this building and, and all yeah, that. Like, yeah, you know how much it costs to build like build something out. Yeah, <laughs> it's fucking crazy, man. It's the whole thing, no. man. Is like when you do when you're in business for yourself, everyone thinks it's all fucking glorious and awesome, but they don't. No one sees that it's way more work than having a regular job. Like every day I'm like, I wish I just had some, like when I was like fucking working in anthropology and just getting a fucking check every week, it's like, my life was way easier. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. Like this sucks, yeah, yeah, yeah. but I love it. Yeah, yeah. It's like the weirdest thing, right? It's like, this absolutely fucking sucks, but I love it. So I do it. And I'm fucking sadomasochist or something. You know what I mean? But what <laughs> It's like being a dad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like being a I, dad. I just, I just, I just birth businesses <laughs> that aren't lucrative, but it's shit I love. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, of course. You know what I mean? Like it, it really is right. Like it's, it's, it's like if it's, I was really smart and wanted to do businesses, I would do some general shit that appeals to masses and makes money. Like, like not to like these small, like subsets, Yeah. yeah. like, we appeal to a subculture that's within a subculture that's even like a smaller part of like the sub subculture. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Which is trying to appeal to like a broader spectrum of shithead. Then, yeah. then, then, <laughs> then the problem is, talking. is the shitheads we appeal to are dying off yeah. <laughs> yeah. or leaving or doing whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. it's like getting replaced by a different shithead that, you know, that we don't relate to. We don't really die <laughs> with. Yeah, it's cool. But it's cool. Whatever, no. man. You know, shit changes. Yes, uh, but yeah, so so yeah, so there's a new Slapshot record coming. There's a new Stars and Stripes record coming. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with the Stars and Stripes. We gotta. There's still some. Uh, all the music's done. We gotta do vocals. Gotta do vocals. Yeah. Um, Is but, Jack flying back to Houston to do that, or are you just doing them in a studio here? Um, no. So 
Rio, Rio, Johnny Rio's in the band now, so I don't know what yeah, the yeah. fuck is going on. Uh, did I talk about that last time? I think. No, no, I don't. I think know. I wasn't supposed to, but yeah. I don't know. Fucking Johnny Rio's in the fucking band now, so yeah. both, bands. both bands, both. Yeah. Well, we're, we're the same band. Yeah, <laughs> with two different sets. Yeah, and like I didn't think that was much, a big deal. Much to the chagrin <laughs> of some of the European. Yeah, I was just gonna say, like, like I remember. But it's the same band. Yeah, <laughs> we were in fucking Germany. <laughs> we we played this festival, and it was like we we played first as as, as slap shot and you come out again as stars and stripes, and like this fucking German dude just he did like the most German motherfucking thing. He just like looked at me and like you can't see the hand thing, but he like he like he touches his lip and then like. Looks up at me. He's like, uh, "But you are the same band." Yeah, yeah. It's like, yes. <laughs> Believe it or not, I know two sets. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can write two different sets. How about yeah. that? All right. But even back in the day, like there was, uh, I don't know if everyone in Slapshot was in Stars and Stripes, but well, was, Stars and Stripes wasn't a real band, right? No, like, but you know, it, everyone it, on the Stars and Stripes record was, was, yeah, in, Slapshot. was in Slapshot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like like Mark, uh, Jamie played yeah. bass on it. That was post Ristine, right? Or was Ristine yeah, still? Yeah, no, Ristine was out. That was this is eighty nine. Yeah. Um, Jeff from the Bruisers. Yep. They when they played a show, they played a show like back then. Jeff from the Bruisers played I was there, played, yeah, played I guitar. I don't. I, I I think it was Mark and all that because there's only like one or two shows back then. Yeah. No, I remember one of them. And then, uh, yeah, like we didn't really start playing until I joined. Two thousand twelve. Yeah. And then we we put out Planet of the States, so that was a whole conundrum. We had we had we put out the Planet of the States record with a, a label that does not exist anymore. Are we doing shots again? Yeah, we're doing shots. All right. Um, so uh, the the label that we were supposed to put it on unfolded. So the the engineer was owed a bunch of money. Yeah. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. <sighs> You know, that's not to derail this, but there's a really legislation trying to go through in Massachusetts to ban the sale of shooters. That's fucking bullshit. It's such bullshit. I don't want to live in this fucking country. I don't want to live in a world without shooters. No, what am I going to do with the mystery? There's going to be no more mystery bag of shooters. So I'm just fucking tired of shit. Some fucking prick. Some f- and, and, and they're trying to tie it to like oh, trash or something like because pe- people you. toss them. Fuck you know you. what? You get a trash problem, you don't have a fucking liquor government, problem. Government is too big when it's trying to yeah, yeah. regulate the sale of alcohol in a, a, a little one-shot <laughs> fucking deal. Adam, Adam Carroll, I listen to his podcast every now and again, right? I, I will quote him on this. He's like, let's work big to small, right? Like, let's yeah. take care of the fucking traffic. Let's take care of our fucking, our crumbling bridges and shit like that. Yeah, infrastructure. Well, once that's taken care of... Then we can work on the fucking the, Shooters, the pollution, yeah. fucking the shooter, yeah, fucking yeah. pollution problem. Shooter pollution. Yeah. <laughs> you know I mean? Let's yeah. uh, let's not worry about the fucking plastic and bags I and the fucking that's, straws. That's just literally the bullshit they use to to uh, justify the legislation. You know, well, what I mean? well, they have to justify their, their like, work. Right? I'm not I'm not like fucking walking outside, fucking kicking fucking random shooters all over the yeah. fucking place, yeah, exactly. and and or oh, nips or whatever you guys want to call them. You know, single shots of fucking alcohol, right? Yeah. Airplane bottles for Airplane everyone bottles. else that's outside of New England. <laughs> yeah. Um, I yeah. think shooters uh, is a pretty national thing. I think no, no airplane bottles is what they call them. Everywhere or, else. Well, airplane bottles, yeah, yeah. We just call them nips. We call them nips, yeah. But we're an hour south of Boston, so yeah, it's yeah. like an Indian territory yeah, down yeah, there. Yeah. <laughs> we call them Wampum. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not in. Uh, we're actually in Freetown Forest. Uh, we're in. We're in the Bridgewater Triangle. So the puck wedgie territory. Puck wedgie territory. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen that. Um, I have not seen that documentary yet. But so I, yeah, I mean, if you want to know about more of the town where Chopper Head is located, uh, watch the Bridgewater Triangle um, documentary. And there was also uh, my man Ocho Pete Benavides just sent me. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to look this up. There was a show on the Travel Channel called Satanic Swamp. Oh, what? there's a show called Hometown Horror. What? And there's an episode called Satanic Swamp, which is about the Freetown Forest, which oh, is like shit. a mile that way. And um, There's another thing on the Travel Channel my wife took me to in Vegas when we got married. Um, some fucking buttholes got some fucking horror bullshit out in fucking... Yeah, maybe... Uh, you, you know, <laughs> was it on Hometown Horror? Like, no, the, no, no. The fuck is a guy's name? Hometown Horror was the name of the TV show, yeah, I'm and on the episode is called Satanic Swamp because it was all these satanic killings and all this. I, weird you know, shit I think, in the I think the host has something to do with it. That's why 
it rang a fucking bell and I'll, I'm fucking drawing a blank, but yeah. Oh, and, and, and for listeners of the podcast, go back to the Chris Pittman episode. He talked, he's one of the researchers that's on the show. Uh, and, uh, he's, uh, she's going to kill me. I forget the fucking guy's name. <laughs> It's been like fucking three hours there. <laughs> it's a favorite show, <laughs> but I think that it's the same guy. It's like the like uh, the paranormal guy. What the fuck is his name? Ah, oh, motherfucker! I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Nonetheless, fucking stars and stripes. Yeah, stars and stripes. Right. There's a stars and stripes record that was out in Europe because uh, the American label folded that was supposed to put it out. So I paid for the record. So it's my record. Yeah. So you own the rights. I. It's my record. Yeah. My fucking record. No. Um, it's like an NFT. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a fucking, yeah, so I think uh, the idea was Bridge Nine's going to put out Planet of the States and then... Uh, the new gonna, one. The, the new one together. But we're, It's we're, like one big, big I don't thing. know if it's going to be one big thing or maybe a seven inch and this, a blah, 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 extended fucking bullshit. We'll see. But both of those records... I own so yeah. fucking that just because I love fucking Stars and Stripes. I yeah. fucking love playing the shit. They're yeah, fucking so, super so fun. For anyone that's fun. not uh, familiar, Stars and Stripes is basically the oi offshoot of uh, Slapshot, <laughs> kind yeah. of right. You know, yeah. In a nutshell, yeah. yes. So there's a lot of people out there like uh, you know fucking like the whole reason why fucking skinhead hardcore is tied in with fucking with Slapshot. It's not because of fucking hang up your boots. It's because there was this whole other offshoot. Jack had Patriot Records. Jack yeah. signed the Bruisers, the, the yeah. Bruisers, and all that. Um, Force Reality, all yeah. that. Like back back in the eighties, like he was very much involved with the skinhead scene back then. And uh, Stars and Stripes was an offshoot of that. And uh, and now here we are. Like yeah. I'm, a, I grew up a fucking skinhead, and I was like, let's look and do some Stars and Stripes yeah, shit. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. So I'm fucking stoked. I'm fucking stoked to be a part of it. Absolutely. And I, I, lo I love that record. I love Planet of the States. It's just go to YouTube and fucking listen to it. It's a fucking great record. I, I, I know I'm not going to make any money off it. It's just a fucking rad record. And I'm so proud to fucking I played on it. And, yeah, man. And that's it. The new stuff is uh, it's in the same vein. It's, it's yeah. just shitty fucking oi. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just fun to play. <laughs> shitty oi. That's awesome. It's like it's fun to play. Like oi, oi, you that's what that's all it is. It's fun. It's yeah. fun to play. It's fun to be in the crowd, right? Yeah, it's yeah. not. You know what it's mean? not super technical. Yeah, you know, you know what I mean. It's just, it's just fucking fun, man. And like yeah. we're just not one like man. We're, we're street punk. Like, nope, we're, we're a fucking oi band. Like yeah, 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 it's yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. just simple fucking oi. It's just fun. Well, I think with like when like the quote unquote skinhead thing got a bad name, everyone's like we're a street punk. Like no. we're not oi. Like, well, that and like yeah, and whatever. Not non street kids. Yeah, non street kids. It's yeah. just like like you're not tough enough to play oi. So. Yeah, <laughs> fucking street punk. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 Uh, yeah. So so many people upset right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit. Nonetheless, all right. What the fuck else do I have going on? I don't know. A I, quick question though. Um, are you going to the? Uh, there's a. Uh, what is it? It's um. Wizard convention. But yes, wizard, <laughs> wizard convention. No, bouncing souls, sick, circle jerks, negative approach in seven seconds of playing at the paradise. I think next week. I don't know shit. I'm going to uh, Puerto Rico this weekend. That's, well, I, I, it might be when it's, you're back. I don't know. And then if not, I think just seven seconds in negative approach of playing in Providence. Yeah. Too. I mean, like, I'm, I'm a huge fan of uh, all those bands. Um, yeah. 99, I did, I, was, I was rode in for the Dropkick Murphys. They were, the Bouncing Souls were on the Warp Tour. At their height, like, um, was it Hopeless Romantic? What was the name of that record? Like, uh, yeah, Hopeless Romantic was the name of the record. Like, that was a, their big record yeah, in the yeah. fucking 90s. Um, yeah, they were on. It was a fun-ass fucking tour. I've been friendly with those guys since. Like, not super close, but we, yeah. we've, been, we've been friendly. And that's since, a, like, Lenny since. does a lot of recording with one of them. Yeah, yeah. So I did Lenny's first record. I played bass on half of it. So Brian from The Souls played bass on some of it. And then Pete engineered the whole thing. So I yeah. knew Pete since 99... Yeah, yeah. Fast forward to 2000 fucking whatever. I did. What, I don't even know what the fuck year that was. We should get them on full speed ahead when we do one. Yeah, we could do it. Yeah. Yes. Sorry, we're talking about <laughs> This is what we do. We talk shit, and then we talk business, yeah. and then we talk yes. more shit. Yeah. So you guys um, are basically just sitting in on like a conversation of like a, a, yeah. an average yeah. conversation. Pete, yeah, no, Pete, Pete rules. Like, uh, yeah, Pete, Pete and Brian are, are, are good dudes. But, um, yeah, uh, and then Kevin Seconds was on that same, uh, Seven Seconds was on that same Warp Tour. They were only on for like a week. Yeah. That's when I first met. I was 19 years old, and I was like, fuck, dude, Seven Seconds. And like, 
That was the 90s when no one gave a shit about seven seconds. Yeah, they were yeah. on the side stage. Like, no one gave a fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, well, they got weird, right? Like, for a little while, you know, like they got weird. Right, like, New end and everything after that got a little weird, and then they yeah, got back. Yeah. But I still got my skins, brains, and guts seven inch. Dude, that, that Warp Tour 99 was a fucking weird year, man. Like, uh, Suicidal Tendencies had a new record out, and no one gave a fuck about that. Like they, well, they weren't the, the band they are now because now yeah. it's like enough nostalgia. But in '99, they were still fucking. That was a lot of shit, right? Because yeah. that's when Motorhead was playing small rooms. Yeah, yeah. Shit. Like there was a, it was a weird time in yeah. music, right? I was on, I was on a tour. That was the Dropkick Motorhead tour, right? Dropkicks. Hey, all right. So, <laughs> it was Scarhead, Hatebreed, <laughs> Scarhead for like three shows, <laughs> four, four shows, four shows. Okay, four yeah. shows. <laughs> Scarhead, um, Hatebreed, Dropkick Murphys, and Motorhead. That yeah. was the tour in that order. Yeah. 1999. And like, yeah. it was fucking insane. Yeah. yeah. And like, I, you know what? I have one picture. I didn't save my laminate. I didn't fucking like. Yeah, man. One fucking picture from that old fucking tour. Not a poster, not nothing. I was like, all right, this is, this is what life is. I'm a fucking 19 year old fucking roadie. <laughs> you know what oh, I mean? Fuck yeah, man. Whatever. Um, so, uh, yeah, you know what? I'll tell you a fucking story from that fucking I tour. Some, I need some quinine in my life. <laughs> Can you hear me that Tito's? Yes. And a little cranberry to offset the... <laughs> little bit of cranberry. The, the bitterness of the, of the quinine. Well, see, this is what sucks about not doing the M4, because now I got to piss. All right? Hit, hit pause real quick. Yeah, I'll hit pause. We can do that. <laughs> All right, and we're back. <laughs> um, the, the glory of technology. Yeah. There's, right. Unfortunately, there's no pause. I'll just have to stitch this together, but... Oh, there's no pause, huh? No, that's all right. So if you if road, if anybody from Road is listening, Road, uh, the the company that makes this uh, piece of equipment, Roadcaster Pro. Yeah, you need to fucking put a fucking pause button on this, not just recording off, but nonetheless, nonetheless. So let me paint the picture. <laughs> um, we are in. I don't even remember what city it was in now. It was in the Pacific Northwest. Portland, Seattle? Not Seattle. No, maybe it was Seattle. Tacoma? Yeah, maybe um, up that way. But we, uh, no, it was it was in Washington State because we had just played, uh, we just played through, like, so back then, it was my first year working for the band. We would literally, like, we'd, we're on one tour, get booked on another. Like, okay, cool, blah, 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 everyone look out, like, work out the logistics. Kenny was the only one with a cell phone back then. It was 99. Like, not, yeah, yeah. not everybody had fucking cell phones, so we were just like, all right, cool. Like, hey, Ryan, like, you're, but, going, you're going on a fucking other tour after But that. back then, just one dude having a cell phone made life infinitely easier. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. You were, like, yeah. thankful that one it, dude it, had a cell phone. It was all phone. set, yeah, it was everything you needed. You're like, oh, fuck, all right, cool. Like, I'm, I'm yeah. booked for another, you know. So we would go home for literally three days and, like, Stormy Shepard, she was a she's an amazing booking agent to this day. Like she was fucking working her ass off. Fucking all these bands were out there working. Six week fucking tours. We were out like fucking coast to coast playing fucking literally every fucking night. Home for fucking two days. Home or just we'd go to a merch company and grab new merch and just fucking keep going. Like, yeah, yeah. like shit like that. Like it was it was that fucking nuts. And uh so we were we were through that way and like playing bigger venues and then like hey you want to do this fucking motorhead run and it wasn't it wasn't like it is now that like I mean I booking shows fucking six months out a year out blah 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 like it was hey do you want to do this after this tour yeah, like, yeah. yes okay cool like <laughs> you know what I mean like it was it was fucking that it was happening like that like which is nuts to think about because like it was harder back then to book shows than it is now. You know what I mean? But yeah. Like, like we got the fucking tour while we were on the tour before that. So it was only, it was less than a month or like a yeah, month yeah. at the fucking most. I just feel like there was more venues and more shows back then. Yeah. And more people going to shows. And it might've been even before, but like, I would just like, okay, cool. Like this is the next tour. I was like, all right, cool. Yeah. You, like, do, you, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like, Hey, we just, but like, I know that, that, that motorhead tour was quick because I would like, they're like, are you available? I'm like, yeah, I'm 19 years old. I have nothing else that's going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so we did that, and uh, it started in Vancouver. And I only remember that because Kid Rock had a midget, 
and yeah. we were going to steal the midget and <laughs> make him a leprechaun for the dropkick store. <laughs> like uh, Joe C. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. He t- turned out to be Joe C and all that. But like, I, like we didn't know who the fuck Kid Bark was. Or, yeah, like, yeah. Again, this is 99, right? Yeah, like, yeah. It's like back when you sang that with you. Yeah, like, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, what we, you already told that story. Yeah, what, yeah, what, yeah. What, what, what was that? <laughs> I don't even know. Like that. It's probably right around then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Kid Rock's out with Joe C. We're like, no, no, he's no, got a no. It was, later than, it was later than that. Kid Rock oh. was already huge. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. No, like Kid Rock. I don't was even like, think Joe C was around, like was post Joe C. Kid Rock. I don't know. She, oh, it was but, yeah, that late, huh? No, I don't know. Like it's gotta be no. It's like two thousand four or five or something like that. Yeah, no. This ninety nine. We just knew that he had a midget. We're like, fucking yeah. get the midget. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, him, yeah. You know? Yada yada yada. A couple of days later, we're, we're like, the first show was okay. Second show was like, well, this isn't a very, very big room, but you know, I'm cool. We're on tour at Motorhead. Yeah. Uh, third night, same. Fourth night, money goes missing. A band get kicks off the tour. Yeah. I don't know anything about nothing. I'm a 19 year old fucking kid. Uh, I enjoyed what I saw. <laughs> that was it. That's all I'll say about any of that. But uh, fourth night, we're in, we're again, Pacific Northwest. It, it's, we're playing, a, again, a smaller fucking room. And now Hatebreed is fucking annoyed because uh, all of Motorhead's shit is on this fucking... We're, we're playing a sports bar. A fucking <laughs> straight sports bar, dude. Like a fucking... The smallest room to that point was like 750 cap. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like, okay, cool. We'll make it work. Blah, blah, blah. Like the Dropkicks alone were doing 550 to 750 cap rooms. Hate Breed was doing 550 plus cap rooms. And then all of a sudden, they're fucking headlining and they're playing a fucking a sports bar. And this fucking thing had a railing. What, what was the, what was the, what, like, what size room was the sports bar? Like 200? 300 at the yeah, most, yeah, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. fucking for real. Like, like 300. Like, it was a fucking tiny room to see these fucking bands. A tiny fucking room. And all their shit was fucking, so their bullshit that they're booked there. They're fucking livered. Who's bullshit? Everybody? No, no. Uh, uh, Motorhead. Yeah, yeah. Motorhead's fucking bullshit that they're fucking booked there. Like, there's three buses in front of this fucking place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're in, like a fucking like legit tour bus, bar, dude. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Like three fucking. It's like tour- going to play like the Gridiron in Swansea. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck, dude? It was. Uh, what's the place around the corner? Vault. It was smaller than that. Yeah, yeah. And it, yeah, for real. Like, like a 300 cap room, but like at the end of the stage is these fucking railings, right? Like, like. There would be on your, like a banister in like a 90s home, like that blonde wood. <laughs> you know yeah, I mean? yeah, like yeah, 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 <laughs> like, yeah. Like so, a ship. Like, so, yeah, yeah. So this is, like, they have all their fucking stacks up. There's fucking uh, Mickey's fucking drum riser, the whole fucking thing. There's like three feet between yeah. the front of the fucking amps to the fucking, to this railing. And, and Motorhead doesn't need that space because they, like, let me just Yeah, yeah, yeah they don't give a yeah, fuck, yeah, right? I'm like, dude, how the fuck am I going to get a fucking... Four thousand people in the Dropkick Murphys. Like, <laughs> well, they were they were only a four piece back oh, then. It wasn't like, yeah, it wasn't, yeah, it wasn't right, the right. traveling circus that it is now. But like, no, they were a four piece back then, and it was just me working. Yeah, there was a merch guy. It was me. There was a tour manager. And that was it. And uh, again, nineteen year old kid. I'm like, was it was it Mike or Al? Uh, Al's first shows were my first shows. Okay, okay. So it was like right after uh, all that shit. So. I'm like, how the fuck am I going to do this? And like, I'm looking at the fucking Hebrew guys. They didn't have a fucking rowdy. They're like, I'm like, I just put the cabs up and like, we'll just share. Blah, blah. And they're like, we're not fucking, fuck this. <laughs> there yeah, literally yeah. wasn't enough room to stand in front of the fucking amp and then behind this yeah, fucking yeah. railing. So chaos ensues. Hebrew ends up fucking getting into it with the club. They fucking, this, this a bunch of Samoan bouncers, and like there was a fight there, blah, blah, blah. And they're like, okay, cool. Like, we're not fucking playing. Dropkicks didn't play. Hate We didn't play. I don't even remember if Motorhead played. But Kenny was like, get the shit. Get the, luckily, I only had like two cabs in there. So it's fucking fine. Because that's all that could fit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I put it back in the fucking trailer. So we're like L shaped in front of the venue. The like, buses. Yeah, we're, we're not fucking behind the venue. Like, there's no room behind the venue. We're L-shaped in front of the fucking venue. So we made, like, this courtyard where everyone is hanging out. And everyone's bullshit that the fucking show has happened. It was a fight, blah, blah, blah. So now I'm fucking sitting now. It's like 9 o'clock at night. All of a sudden, the fucking, the whole crowd, so the whole crowd's in the, the courtyard. They just part like the fucking Red Sea. I was like, oh, what the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? All of Motorhead come on our bus. I was like, all right, I'm, I'm going to sit right up front and just see how, the, how this all fucking plays out. 
Lemmy sitting there, Mickey D, and uh, I forget the other kid's name. Um, guitar player, motor, and anyway, tour manager. Uh, it's like a, a, a an assistant, all that shit. Everyone's there, and I'm like, wow, man, I'm 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 actually gonna witness some shit. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Kenny just loses his shit, loses his shit on fucking Lemmy. He's just like, and he's he's wearing like this like a uh, blue jumpsuit is what they he used to wear back then. And he's fucking poking Lemmy in the fucking chest. He's like, you motherfucker. I thought it was going to be so fucking cool toying with you. This tour has been fucking garbage, fucking blah, blah, blah. This fucking band was supposed to be so fucking cool. You guys have been nothing but fucking assholes, blah, blah, blah. And Lemmy was just like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm like, very sorry. <laughs> like, literally, Kenny's just like giving him oh, shit. I was in, like, in the Queen's English? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm not even going to try to impersonate the motherfucker. You know what I mean? He was just like, I'm sorry. I was like, motherfucker, holy shit. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> yeah. like, Kenny jumping around. He's like fucking three feet tall. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, poking Lemmy in his face. I was like, fuck, dude. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, yeah, how about that? <laughs> so, yeah, so I don't, yeah, again, I don't. You can take the motherfucker out of Boston. You can't take the Boston yeah. out of the motherfucker, right? I honestly don't remember if, if Motorhead played because, like, we we just left. Yeah, yeah. And, like, and, and, Mot- and uh, Hatebreed left. The rest of the tour was great. It was a good time. They were super fucking fun. Everyone, you know, like, the, the venues were better. It was just, to, a, it was just a weird. Towards the it East was just, Coast. Just a fucked up spot. Yeah, there. like, the first, it was, like, the first, like, 10 days was, was shit. And yeah. then, like, it, it, it got better towards... But like, um, what's that place? The Chance Theater in Poughkeepsie. That's the biggest fucking place that we played yeah, the whole yeah, time. Yeah. Like, like you think about Motorhead, it's like they. Yeah, 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 yeah. Towards the end, it was like you know, like, cool, three thousand fucking people. You know, the House of Blues, blah blah yeah. blah. Stadiums to small clubs <laughs> to, to fucking yeah, yeah, but yeah, back then like bigger the, rooms, the yeah. Chance Theater in Poughkeepsie was the biggest place. Yeah, yeah. On the whole tour. Yeah. And <laughs> it ended on a high note. Um, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Yeah. Not Keanu Reeves. The other guy yeah, yeah, yeah. was hanging out yeah, and motherfucking everybody was breaking his balls. <laughs> everybody, <laughs> even Lemmy. Lemmy's like, eh, dude, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like making fun of him and all yeah, that. Yeah, like, yeah. I was like, oh, this is a fun tour. I'm not, in Poughkeepsie? In Poughkeepsie at the Chance yeah. Theater. He yeah, was hanging yeah. out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that, yeah, that was the end of that tour. But like, I, like in my brain, I was like, this is going to be amazing. And it was mm-hmm. just, I mean, it was. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it yeah, was yeah, fucking yeah. amazing. But it, it's not the way you thought it would be. Yeah. Not at all. Not, yeah. not at all. Very, very... Interesting, fun tour. So, uh, talking about touring and stuff, you guys uh, this year had your thirty fifth uh, anniversary shows, and they were fun. Um, yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they were fun. Not uh, for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Not for everybody. <laughs> so, I know you're too young to have been in the band for thirty five years, but what was it like being able? Like, it's fucking crazy to me that punk and not just punk. Punk is punk's been around since the late seventies, but like hardcore. Has been around now for fucking four decades. Long, long time, yeah. And so, so Slapshot playing a 35th anniversary show in Boston. That was a fucking and and and, uh, it, and 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 shouts to you because I know you put in the work to fucking organize that and get it going. Um, what's that like, man? Like, what it's, fucking- <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. It's 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 honestly, dude. It's fucking surreal, right? So yeah. like, it was surreal when I was working on the first record, right? I'm like, oh, these aren't Slapshot songs. And then Jack sings on them, and then you're like, oh, fuck, these are Slapshot, slapshot songs. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like, and, uh, and like, you know, songs that are in the fucking set and, and all that, they're like, yeah, like, for, for me, they're staples now. Like, uh, they're not staples, like, fucking back on the map, obviously, but, like, they're still, if you're a fan of the fucking band, they're, like, songs that we've, in the first block that fucking kids are singing along, right? So throwing the 35th anniversary was, like, obviously a, a big deal. Yeah. It's like, who the fuck gonna get like what 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 weekend would i want to go to yeah you know uh because it's 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 tough and, and a lot of kids fucking flew out during the fucking pandemic or the tail end or fucking whatever and i'm sorry you guys got sick yeah. <laughs> nothing to do with me <laughs> fucking yada 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 yeah, right yeah. <laughs> fucking <laughs> this and anything yeah so like i booked i booked bands that i wanted to fucking see i wanted to play with i wanted to fucking hang out with yeah and uh and that was it. It was it was fucking violent way. We're fucking great, you know. Fucking, I wanted I wanted to see noise. Matt's a fucking old friend of mine. Yeah, yeah. They couldn't make it. 
he's got obviously military obligations sure, that you're yeah, to fucking yeah, yeah, take yeah, yeah. care of and all that. But yeah. like, obviously playing with Lenny, he's a fucking brother. It's, it's fucking, fucking crazy to me too that like how much shit he gets from being in the military from people, and it's like, yeah, yeah. The, like and, I'm, and I'm, listen, I'm a veteran like, too, motherfucker. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. like no, but Matt was on the podcast, so listen to his episode. It's just fucking retarded. You know what I mean? See, I, 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 I gotta catch up on fucking so much of this yeah. shit. My, it, was like, it was like a year and a half ago. <laughs> get out of here. Did I miss that? You missed that. Yeah, man. I was oh, on fuck. a long time ago. Yeah. Oh, no shit. I didn't yeah. even know that. Like, I knew I was missing a bunch, but. During the pandemic, I was going strong. <laughs> I could, there's nothing else to do. Like, yeah. right? And fucking, uh, like, well, we were open, but, you know, yeah. it was a lot easier to get people and schedule no, shit. No, fuck yeah. No, I got I to gotta listen to that. No, yeah, no, Matt, no Matt, Matt's a great kid, great friend. Yeah, like he's a good him. dude. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, none, nonetheless, yeah, he, so, yeah, military obligations and all that shit. So, so obviously, Dark Buster played. Um, you know, my, my buddy Eddie, I've known Eddie since the late nineties, you know, having yeah. Patriot play was, was, was fucking great. Um, yeah, it was a whole weekend. Sunday, su- Sunday was a bit much. It was <laughs> a long fucking weekend for me. But, the problem uh, with weekends with us is that we go all out, even, the, even at bike shows, right? We go out. So the, say the, the main show Saturday, the, the, there's a pre-party Friday. We're always going to be like. All right, we'll take it easy Friday. We'll go hard Saturday. Then we always go full fucking throttle Friday, and then Saturday's the worst. And then we get over it and go full throttle Saturday night, and then Sunday yeah. it's like the absolute worst. And then we get to drive fucking twenty hours home or whatever. And it's like and that's fuck. exactly that's exactly how my weekend went. Yeah, no, I know it is. <laughs> yeah. I was there. I was there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was good, man. We, we, I mean, the, the the shows were great, and um, you know, uh, I'm 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 I grew up listening to this fucking band. Yeah, I'm. I'm very grateful. I'm. I'm proud to 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 be a part of it. And uh, Jack understands that. You know, I hope everybody else understands that. Like, I'm. I'm. I'm happy to fucking be here, and I'm happy to be the fucking dude now. Right. So, the as a business dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you yeah, know yeah. what I mean? Like, oh yeah, you're spearheading it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and uh, every band has to have a dude that kind of pushes it. Jack. Jack. Jack's been around forever, so he's like, he, he don't have to do it, right? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, to, yeah. like, you know what I mean? Like, he don't want to fucking do it. I get it. Yeah, I get it. You know, and I, and that's it. Like, and luckily, it's like literally everything that I've learned coming up to this band is you know tour managing and all that shit. So like, all right, cool. Now I understand all this shit. I this is yeah. what I can bring to the band. And you've tour managed for other bands and, yeah. and you because dogs and everybody. I'm not. I'm not a good bass player. I'm. <laughs> I'm, I'm good at everything else. Like I'm the whole package, right? Yeah. I'm like, adequate. <laughs> I'm adequate at the at everything else. <laughs> so nonetheless, yeah. So so. But booking. when Packers in your band, he's a tour manager, a business manager, a a, a, a player, and uh, you know. A, and uh, yeah, uh, all, all around nice guy. All around nice guy. Yeah, all, all around liability. <laughs> but <laughs> nonetheless, yeah, I mean, that's why it's gonna be so bad when War Machine ever goes on a tour. Because <laughs> it's gonna be so fucking bad. It's gonna no, I fucking can't wait. I cannot wait. Because it's happening. It's fucking happening. Like uh, we're going out stronger bookings, booking us in Europe. So yeah, it's gonna be a mess. <laughs> <laughs> it's happening. Um, but yeah, nonetheless, uh, yeah, bo- booking the weekend was. It was a lot of fucking work, but it was a lot of fun. It was yeah. a, lot, a lot of fun. A lot of like, it was great to get everybody together. Um, so literally last week, uh, dude hit me up. He's like, Let, "Let's let's do it again," and I was like, "Okay." And like I put it on the group text. I was like, "You know, what do you guys think?" And uh, Jack's Jack's response. He's like, um, "The Dropkicks have St. Patrick's Day. We can have Thanksgiving." So. Thanksgiving weekend. It's going to be a slap shot weekend. There you go. So, so we're going to do it again. Uh, I don't know if we're going to do three days. Um, we'll see. I, I think you should save three days for like the big ones, like the fortieth. Yeah, we'll, you know what I mean. I mean, we're definitely going to do two. I don't. Yeah, I, like I, I feel the same way. I don't know if we're going to do three. I think it'll be at minimum, you know, stars and stripes slap shot, and then we'll do a third without us. But like, like I'll book the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For you know, people flying in and sure. all that. Like up again, like a weekend that I would want to go to. Yeah, yeah. Book some friends' bands and 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 like bands that I want to see and, sure. and, and and all that. Um, so I think that's what's going to happen. It's going to be the weekend after Thanksgiving, moving forward, a yearly thing. And um, that's it. I I don't have anybody confirmed. I have, I have a verbal confirmation mm. of a band that I grew up listening to. Uh, the best record to come out of 1998. And uh, that's all I'm going to say. There you go. Do the math. <laughs> best Boston record to come out of 1998. <laughs> all right. Do the fucking math. <laughs> yeah. 
So I have a verbal confirmation. So that's, that's, and that was it. That, that, that kind of sealed the deal. That was the first like reach out. Hey, would, would you want to do this? Yeah. And then it was like a hundred percent. Yes. I was like, cool. All right. Then I will move forward and we're going to do it every year. So, or, or at least this year. We'll, <laughs> at least see, this year. we'll see about next year. This year and possibly next year. But yeah, we make it this one. Yeah. So that's that. I mean, it was, it was, it was a fucking fun weekend. Everyone got fucking COVID. No. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> like, I didn't get COVID. You know, it, it, and that's the thing about this shit, right? Like, right, we right, we were super sweater event, fucking blah, blah, blah. Speaking of our friends and fucking the Bounce of Souls, they played uh, Big Night Live like two nights later. Yeah. Like 3,000 kids there. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't hear one, one fucking complaint about yeah, fucking yeah. COVID. But that was the, see, that was the problem I had with the whole COVID shit and the response is that it was so half ass and so all over the place and so almost seemed opportunistic like we're gonna attack this but then there's an event with seventy thousand people at but we're not gonna say nothing about that but we're gonna say something that has two thousand people or five hundred yeah, people well, you know I what mean, I mean? It, it, and it was just dumb it was like the response all around on every level was fucking stupid yeah. I mean, again, and then I, if you criticize that, you were this fucking demon, and it was like stupid. It was like, no, I'm just fucking asking questions and pointing out fucking flaws in logic. You know what I mean? But hmm. yeah, I, I, dude, I get it. I, yeah. I get it, right? So like, I'm, I'm, I get, I get three vaccines, right? I don't know. I, 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 also, I, I had, I had COVID. You know, after being vaccinated, all that bullshit. I don't yeah. care. I'm not a fucking doctor. I don't yeah. care. Yeah, yeah. I literally don't give a shit. Yeah. I fucking. You just want to be able to do shit you need to do. Yeah, yeah. I did. I had no. I did not implement the fucking rules on yeah, fucking yeah. what. Who needs what to get into the fucking club? Yeah. I booked the fucking show. I booked the show before any of that was ever fucking yeah. said. Now the problem is, is that <laughs> I don't care. I think what we're getting to is that the problem is, is that shit gets fucking politicized and it's you know what i mean yeah it literally nothing with me like they, they got yeah. a business to run i got a business to run is mm. what the fuck it is yeah and everyone still got sick i don't I'm fucking i'm sorry yeah, yeah fuck yeah, you fuck me. <laughs> i don't know i don't i don't have the answers i'm just fucking i'm doing my shit yeah what uh what else is coming up man um we talked about the bar <laughs> talked about the yeah next november the shows um European tour in May. Yeah, fuck yeah. Going uh, going back to Europe. I don't fucking You going stuck. to the Eastern Europe at all? <laughs> yeah, dude, motherfucker, we're going all over it. <laughs> yeah. All up in it. <laughs> we, we literally, so we're supposed to. You're not to, doing Moscow again, are you? No, 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 no. We, no, we were supposed to play. So so in 19, we were booked. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, in 20, we were booked in, in Kiev to play. Yeah. Uh, obviously, I got, got shut down the pandemic. When the, when the tour got booked again, we weren't there. Yeah, and all that. So, again, like, I get, I have fucking friends in fucking Moscow. I got fucking friends in St. Petersburg. I got fucking, I got friends in fucking Kiev. Like, yeah. it's, 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 it ain't, it ain't their, it's not them. It's not, it's, it's their government. Like, yeah, I, it's like anything, man. I, did you bomb Syria? Because I didn't fucking bomb Syria. Yeah, yeah, right? Right. Guess what? Obama bombed Syria, yeah, right? Yeah, like yeah. fucking whoever the fuck else is fucking yeah. doing none of shit. Like bomb Syria, right? Like it fucking. The, you know what I mean? Like I, I nothing to fucking do it. Like that's it. When you when you meet hardcore kids, when you meet fucking punk rock dudes, it's it's we're the fucking same. And that's, yeah, that that's is, the beauty. That, of that, that that is real. That is yeah. that is like and don't let that get fucking lost. It's not just because I'm fucking forty two and like that shit ain't lost on me because I fucking meet kids every day over in Europe and they're we're the fucking same. We're mm. motherfucking street kids just fucking doing our shit and fucking our same morals, same fucking beliefs, same shit speaking different fucking languages and just fucking under different fucking regimes. And that's, that, that's the fucking truth of it. That is the fucking truth of it. Like, yeah, absolutely. Man. I got, I had nothing against the fucking people of fucking Russia. I got fucking nothing against the people of fucking Syria. I got fucking you know, nothing against the people of Ukraine. Yeah. In Ukraine. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, fucking for real. You know what I mean? I'm just saying like, like Syria. Cause like we bombed the fuck yeah, out yeah, of them yeah, fucking, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I, yeah, I mean, I'm sure fucking Trump bombed the shit out of people too. Like, I, yeah, yeah. I, I'm not a Trump guy by any fucking means. No, no, like, that's the problem. Right? That's the problem with everything right now is that 
People have enough time on their hands to criticize dumb shit. Just because you criticize one dude doesn't mean that you're for the other dude. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I'm not. stop making logical fucking jumps like that. Because it, it, you know what? I'm not for nobody. I'm not for anybody. I think both sides are fucking corrupted and been compromised. Okay. You know okay. what I mean? Like, you know, it's like okay. well, I'm, I'm registered independent. Yeah, absolutely. And 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 uh, and and you know, honestly, fucking shame on you if you're a punk rock motherfucker and you're not independent. Because because shame on you whether you're whether you're left or right whether you're D or R, like we, it was always us against them us against the establishment, yeah. you know what I mean? And I don't think any of these motherfuckers represent us when it comes down to it. Like show me a motherfucker that represented. Show me a motherfucker that's got to Washington that isn't compromised in what some way, shape, or form. Waiting to see that motherfucker, right? Yeah, the system's not designed for that, and it's yeah. You know. <laughs> But anyway, George Cohen had it right. One big party and one fucking. Not We're not party. invited to it. Yeah. yeah. So that's yeah, it. All, no. all I can speak for is, I'm on the fucking ground and fucking talking to fucking dudes all over the fucking place and sitting yeah. down and like, and that's it. And like, I for real have thought about like, all right, cool. I'll bring a camera and fucking, you know, we'll sit down and like like talk to real dudes and fucking kind of show Americans that like, hey, this fucking world is a lot smaller. Like Europeans understand that because like they're in everybody's fucking backyard. Yeah, yeah. We're very, very fucking removed from that. Very removed. Yeah, from we're that. on a different continent. Yeah. Yeah, very removed. And like American complacency stresses me the fuck out. I hate it. And yeah. like, you know, but it is what it is. I, you know, yes, we're going to be all over. We're not, we're not going to be, you know, Super yeah, there's fucking, certain countries yeah. that you're not going to be able to go. But no, we, yeah, I mean we're not we're not we're not playing Russia on this trip. Like, would I go back? Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, you know, yes, fucking we we again St. Petersburg is a fucking beautiful city. Fucking yeah. and and don't get it fucking twisted, dude. Like, yeah, you're not there because you support fucking when you government. When you, you're there because you're going to play to hardcore kids that appreciate your music. Yeah. yeah. All right. So so for everyone has never been to fucking Moscow, right? When you're looking at the fucking Kremlin and you look to your left and that that's a big church that they always show and all that, you turn around. There's a fucking mall right there, and diagonally to your left is a fucking Starbucks. So don't fucking think for a second that it's not Westernized. Like yeah, yeah, it's yeah. fucking there, dude. Yeah, it's yeah, fucking yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. It's not with this world ain't that fucking big dude it ain't that fucking big yeah we're not fucking that far apart yeah <laughs> you know? and, uh, yeah and that's the you know there's good things about that and bad things about that it yeah, sucks like you go to a different country and it's like you want to experience the shit of their country and it's like oh no you gotta go to fucking mcdonald's yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, i'm bummed that i am that I, it, you know what it's it in the second big so mcdonald's obviously the first biggest chain the second biggest chain is subway really motherfuckers is subway i swear to god i'm I, i'm and why? I, I believe, I believe, don't quote me, but I believe that they are the second biggest in the world. Really? Because every, every country I've been in, like, I've, yeah, I've seen, I've a, seen subway. a fucking subway. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> because it's weird, because like, so German drug food is, is like donors, like donut kebab yeah, and yeah. all that. And like, and it's fucking super good. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I, when I ate meat, I, oh shit. So here we go. <laughs> <laughs> The kid at my barbershop, my boss, he's like, he's like, you're going to mention that you drive a Cadillac. You're going to mention that you fucking, you're a vegetarian. Right? So I just slept. I'm a vegetarian. Yeah. I don't eat fucking donor anymore. Right. Nonetheless, shout out to fucking Dave. He got me. Yeah. I owe him a drink. Yeah. Nonetheless. Um, so yeah, junk food, junk food in Germany is like, like donor kebabs. Donut, I know. I know. Like, that's all there was when I, every time I've been out there, like most of Europe at this point. Yeah. Just donor. It's fucking great. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's yeah. fucking good, good shops, right? Yeah. But like, yeah, that's it. Like, they don't do like fast food like obviously Americans do. They don't do fucking. There's some there, but I heard, you know, I, I mean, try like, not to go to fast food, but, but some of like the restrictions, they're more restricted out there. So they're actually, I heard if you get like a hamburger or a cheeseburger out there, it's actually like, it'll be more akin to like a Five Guys one here. Like, yeah, 100%. it's not all fucking weird processed shit. It's yeah. like actual it's a, beef. It's a, that's it. Like the beer, the beer is better. The food is better. Like, like, and that's that's the thing. I was lucky enough to to the dropkicks brought me to Europe when I was nineteen years old. Yeah, and I was a fucking ignorant, fucking high park fucking kid, right? Yeah, like yeah, this yeah, total yeah. fucking shithead douchebag, fucking like I would have been a fucking cop or a fucking junkie. Yeah, had I not fucking gone, gone on that tour. Yeah, 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 you know what I mean for real. Like I I, I know that in my heart. You know. Um, Learning all that shit, like seeing how the other people do it, like yes, all right, cool, this makes sense, right? They don't allow all the preservatives, all the plastic, and all that shit that we ingest, right? Yeah, yeah. That's my complaint about like 
I'm not taking a vaccine. It's like, motherfucker, you don't know what you had for breakfast. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking no idea, right? Like, the problem is, is that. Uh, I, give, I give fucking John Joseph a fucking pass because he fucking, he, he grew his plants and fucking ate yeah, them, yeah, every, yeah, every yeah. single one of them. And fucking, yeah, yeah, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? Like, he's yeah, a fucking total shithead, but like, it's like, all right, cool, man. Like, that's your thing. You know what I mean? Like, cool. I respect you because you know every mineral that's in your body at every single time. Anyone else? I'm like, mm. You don't fucking know, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, see, my problem is, is I worked for CDC and I worked for WHO, and I know how fucked up those I, fucking places are. I agree. Are. I agree. And I, so I, I was like, I, fuck I, this. I, I don't dismiss that for yeah, a second. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, dismiss yeah, yeah. I, the guys that I've watched do fucking coke off of fucking toilets. Tell yeah, me, yeah. I'm not doing the fucking vaccine. It's like, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. no, no. It's I get a hard time with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, like you, you put an unknown drug from unknown origins. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, you're picking which one you you use. Yeah, so, yeah no, so that, I get it. I get it. That, that's 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 my only thing with that. But like yeah. again, like when you're in Europe, yeah, it's like yeah, the meat meat's different. The fucking beer is different. The you're best part up. of 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 Europe is that you can drink the German beer. That's so good, and you don't have a hangover. And you feel like, like you drank fucking no, vitamins all there's night. There's no fucking you know? gluten in it and fucking oh, preservatives. Yeah, yeah, dude, even the fucking whiskey over there, man. Fucking, yeah. I'm drinking the goddamn Jameson, and now I drink vodka, but. Yeah, okay. yeah. Like, I'm old now. I have to fucking watch my fucking caloric intake and my yeah. carbs and all that shit. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but I used to drink a fucking and and yes, I'm in soft shot. I fucking drink a bottle of whiskey every night. <laughs> Only Jack is straight edge. Only Jack's ever been straight edge. Like I mean, well, Mark McKay was straight edge back in the day and all that shit. But like, no, I've never been straight edge. That's his. That's his message, and I'm glad. I'm glad. I will fucking play that song. Does it mean? I fucking, you know, uh, uh, promote or denounce it. It just, yeah. that's Jack's song. Jack wrote it. Yeah. You know, I'm not singing it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you guys don't even really play that song. You know, just on your 35th anniversary show. It's, you- it's in the set this tour. Oh, yeah. Right. So, so come come out to Europe and, and here. Throw, throw your beer in the air for a straight edge in your face to the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, we played, yeah, we played it uh, the 35th anniversary, but we, we it, it's come up a couple of times. We, we played it. You know. I can't believe, so it's like so weird to me, right, as someone that's been around for a long time, and um, songs that were like such big songs and standards to us when we were young, like, don't make the set list anymore, yeah. and it's so weird to me, because it's so weird that bands have been around this long, that there's like three or four generations of fans, and like different generations resonate, like different records resonate with different generations. Yeah, yeah. Which is cool. Which is cool because I've, I've I've mentioned shit, right? And I'm like, yo, like, you know, let's fucking let's play this, let's play that. And like Jack, be like, yeah, I'm like, uh, kids used to dance to the fast parts, not the slow parts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, and I remember that. Yeah. And I, I've told this story before, but like my first show, me and Ryan went to go see Suicidal and, and Jerry's Kids, mm. and Suicidal was like '85, and and Suicidal played fast. And they, they yeah. were like, we got a new record coming out called Join the Army. They played Join the, Join the Army. And everyone was like, what the fuck is this? People were throwing shit at them and booing them. <laughs> so like, they played that song, Join yeah. the Army, because yeah. everyone was like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. You know, like, <laughs> play fucking, you know what I mean? A possessed a skate or something, you know what I mean? Randy the vodka. The vodka, yeah. <laughs> got to re-up. Um, yeah, no, no, for real. Like, so, yeah, Jack was telling me that. He was just like, yeah, back in the day, like, everyone, everyone you know, would dance on the fast parts and all that. And then... Um, because they had a bunch of like mid tempo songs at the time as well, yeah. and then they had like you know the crappy grunge records and all that shit. And um, so at the time, so it is, yeah, yeah, yeah. motherfucking, and and that's the thing too. Steve Albini fucking produced like the record, like that was supposed to be like their big fucking grunge record. That, that's when the band was their biggest, and yeah. it was like alienated hardcore fans. But like, what if like so? The idea was Albini was going to take them. Another, How did that even happen? I that I don't know. Yeah. That that I don't know because because Slapshot were a bigger band then. Yeah. And then like, but all this grunge stuff was going on. Blah blah blah. They thought they were just gonna. I don't know who they is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because uh, it, it wasn't Jack's idea. Is it like? No, no. Jack's just but, Jack. <laughs> you know what I mean? like, like, did Albini Albini reach out to them, or did someone reach out to Steve? The, Albini, uh, like, no, 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 so no that, that, that I don't know. That's that's a that's a question. Because I always thought that was such a weird thing. Like, yeah, yeah, no, because he, he thought it was weird too, and like they were they were excited about it. Obviously, like, hey, we got this opportunity. Yeah, yeah, blah, blah, yeah. Blah. So it leads me to leave, but I can't I can't speak for the band. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, All right, I, but like, yeah, like they they went. Uh, 
and just fucking banged out a record. It was just the worst record. And he's like, and Jack was like, we were at our fucking height. And then this fucking record came out. It was like, yeah, fucking yeah. nope. And everyone was like, what the fuck? I remember. <laughs> yeah. I remember. Everyone was like, what the fuck? Yeah, because yeah, I, I mean, I remember. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, I was in high school, you know, you know, I'm like. I was like, oh, I don't like this part. Yeah, <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? Like, I thought I was supposed to. You know what I mean? I was yeah, like, yeah. No, I, don't, I don't like this. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, but that, but that was it. it. Was like when when that record came out. It was like right around the time uh, "Love Songs for the Unloved" came out. I yeah. Like I was on that. I was like fucking sheer terror. Like this, yeah, 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 <laughs> this yeah. is what's speaking to me right now. Yeah, and, yeah. Like, and like they were on Lookout Records, but it was just a fucking bullshit label, right? But like that fucking record to me, like that was their polished record. They had like yeah. videos for it and all that shit. And it was like fuck sheer terror too because they get fucking videos. Yeah, 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 yeah. But like it was such a good record. I love yeah, that record. Yeah, yeah. Fucking love that record. Yeah. That, 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 one, that one was the right record of the right time for me. Yeah. Well, un that was un Unconsciousness was not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> A, a, yeah. Yes. And they're all different. It's, it's all different. Like, it's, um, and let me tell you, just me, can't hate uh, enough was that one for me. Cause yeah, yeah, yeah. That's no, what, see, that no, was yeah. at the time. But yeah, you know, I see. I love that record too, right? Yeah, yeah, of like that, that, that got me through high school. <laughs> then yeah. when when this record came out, you know, my love songs came out. I was like, yeah. I, I also in, embraced this shit. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. You know, but like, um, what was it? Sib's other band there. Siv Gorilla Biscuits No no Siv Siv yeah it was Yeah Siv, Siv yeah. came out And all that Like But um To tie it back Into the new record I got a lot of feelings About it A lot of fucking Feelings about it It's super fucking weird Being in a band That you fucking Grew up listening to Sure It's a lot of pressure Right a lot of fucking pressure. I don't. I don't want to fuck up the brand. I don't want to fuck up any of it. I don't, you, you know what I mean? Like I, yeah. I, I fucking care about this shit. But not only being in the band, but now being the dude that's writing the shit. That's in. The yeah, like, like we. So this record we all wrote. Yeah, we, yeah. we all wrote. Like, there's a lot of stuff in the past that um, certain people kind of uh, for whatever reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, no, no, yeah. yeah you know what I mean? Like, uh, kind of took charge on things and all that. But like, yeah, like we we wrote this record, and uh, as I said before, like there was some songs that like I'm I'm, I'm on. I'm like, I'm like this ain't a fucking slap shot record. This, it's not. It's not a slap shot song. It's not a slap shot song. Then you fucking hear Jack sing on it you're like fuck okay yeah here, here we are and now they're in the set like, yeah. it's weird too because like a lot of people it's very weird in that vocals are vocals but vocals are really like an instrument yeah and, and you gotta think of it like that because like and that's it's part of a defining sound but it's also a track is a track and then when the vocals on it it, it, it makes something different out of it 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 one hundred percent does, and 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 Johnny Real tell you this, and he said it in the studio. He's like, he's never seen a vocalist that doesn't play an instrument have such a fucking good ear, he because he'll be like na 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 na, and then like it's like you do, like nope one up one up one up one up, I'm a half a fucking note off, and he's like nope, well higher higher na 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 na, you know what I mean? Like yeah yeah, like 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 shit like that, like like he's so fucking on it and like that that's his ear and it's like yeah. all right cool man like because that's because he already has his what he's doing in his head also yeah, yeah yeah so if i'm not doing it right then he can't do it right so you're talking about when you're writing when we're oh, writing when yeah. we're writing yeah yeah no like when we're writing a song yeah you know like no go literally half a note fucking higher yeah because then he's, he's hearing something in his head then, of, then he's, he's gonna then, say that, or, that, yeah, his melody over it yeah. it needs to be a little higher so he can do his melody over it. Yeah. It's like, oh fuck! All right, right on. Like this fucking dude's already like little like. Well, he's been doing it fucking in real time, forty yeah. years, yeah, yeah, or, yeah, or more from. Yeah, you know, if you count like negative effects and fucking last rights and shit, yeah, he's been yeah. doing it a long time. Yeah, thirty-seven years of slap shot. Yeah, it's fucking. Yeah, nuts. then plus like four or five yeah, years yeah, of other exactly, shit. Exactly. Yeah. 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 But um. But yeah, it, it's cool, man. So, so the new. It'd be record, fucked up if he didn't know that shit by now, you know. <laughs> you'd be surprised. No, I, know, <laughs> I, know, like I know, I know, I know, I know. You'd be surprised, but no, like so. The, so the new record, when, when I got when I got the first mixes back, and I was like, because at first, because so so we recorded it last July, and then I don't fuck it, I don't hear anything. I don't have. Yeah, yeah. It's like like you know you're in a high school band like you leave with like. 
the shit mixes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because yeah, like, it's a fucked up mix. Yeah, like, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. a it's like, 10 minute mix. And yeah, fucking, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, no, no, no. It's, it's, it's fucking six months later, I get like some bullshit mixes. You know, yeah, I'm yeah. like, fuck, dude, I don't even remember the song. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm like, yeah, yeah. so then you hear some songs, you're just like, all right. You're like, well, this, I, th- I think this is a strong song. Maybe it could be the single. Then you hear it, you're like, all right, cool. I like this song. And, I don't like this one. Yeah. <laughs> like, I think they're like, I remember, I remember like being like working on it and all that. But it's crazy too, though, like how you can change the mix a little bit and then it changes the song. So, yeah, I mean, like, yeah, that's it. Like, like, cause I was, I was literally, I was hearing songs kind of trickle in. And I was like, all right, like what? Because I didn't know. It was just a different, a different way of doing it for me. Right. Like, uh, with working with other guitar players and shit like that, like, and working with other producers, it, 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 everything just, everyone has their own, their own method. Yeah. Right. So this method, it's like, I've known Johnny Rio for years, but I've never worked with him in this aspect. Yeah. So like, I would, like, he would like trickle shit in. So I'd hear stuff and I'd be like, I don't know, man. Like, I don't know. It's just a good song. Yeah, yeah. And then, like, let, let me stew on it. Let me overthink it. <laughs> you know yeah, what I mean? yeah, 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 yeah. And then I was, I was telling you on, on the way down. I was, but that's I, what you do with shit you love. You you have to kind of yeah, overdo yeah, yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, I'm like, is is this worthy of the fucking brand? Is this is this the best I could have fucking done? You know, and like, it's not even. I don't know about my bass tone on this. It's it's literally like you the whole fucking song. <laughs> you yeah, know yeah, what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like the whole fucking thing. It's like, oh Jesus. Um. And then I'm like, all right, cool, man. I got I got to deliver this to Chris, dude. Like, is Chris gonna fucking write me a check and yeah, 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 and all that. So then, like, it goes back and forth, and, and like, it becomes it becomes the song. Yeah. And then, so again, I I I got some fucking mixes back, and I'm like, fuck, dude. All right, cool. And then I hear other shit that like I totally forgot that we wrote and recorded and all that, and I'm like, oh fuck, this is a good song. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know what I mean? I'm like, fuck, dude. I forgot this one's fucking rad. Yeah. You know, it's shit like that. Like, yeah, but it's just super but funny. Like, music the- is weird too because, like, sometimes some shit hits you at some point, and then there'll be shit like I slept on, and I'm not even talking about like music that I was involved in, but like yeah. a record I like. And I, don't know, I skip a song, skip a song, skip a song, and then a year later, I'm like, the songs I skipped, I'm like, oh shit, that song's fucking. Why did I not yeah. care about that before? It's fucking something resonates with you now. You know yeah, what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, I, it, and, yeah. I'm just like I just overanalyze it because it's like, yo, I got to put out a fucking slap shot record. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, yeah, of course. But yeah. but yeah, like overanalyzing the record and all that, and like, but like, yeah, hearing it, hearing it all together, and hearing it, and hearing the mix, and hearing how what what Johnny's ear is on it, and all that, and like, it. I, what I can say. If you're a fan of Slop Shot, it's mixed like 16 valve hate. Yeah. It's faster in some parts. It's not faster in other parts. Like, it's not 16 valve hate. Like, for me, that's like like one of my favorite records, right? So, what, like, but it's more mixed like that. See, my problem was like, I, I was always a, a back on the map step on it, but those things were recorded, not out, recorded. out of tune. And not only that, but they were they were mastered so horribly and so low. Like you never got, because when you when you saw Slapshot back then, you saw what those songs were. Right. The recordings didn't capture. Yeah. yeah like I mean, like so when, actually, when, when I was learning the, the fucking actually, back on the map is recorded better than Step on it. But when I was learning the songs and like really dissecting the fucking songs it was a pain in the ass because i was like this isn't even fucking in tune yeah like yeah. how the fuck did this make the record yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was like it was that bad and yeah, i'm like yeah. i have a shitty ear and i'm like why, why does this note sound sour it's like yeah, yeah. oh fuck the motherfucker was out of tune like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, but it is what it is i mean but like that's what's fucking cool about old punk rock and hardcore right yeah, it wasn't like, meant to be perfect it's fucking yeah. little raw and like and like and some of that is on the new record like some of it like we know how to stop hard. We know and, and all that, but like we left some, some of it's just a little raw. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like some of our stops and all that shit just kind of, we're still a fucking hardcore band. Yeah. You know, 
and uh and that's it like it's it's it, it embodies it's always the trick right like it's like producing it enough where it sounds good but not overproducing overproducing it. yeah yeah it's like, that line you gotta yeah it's it and, and really and like you don't want it to sound like shit but you don't want it to sound too the same know. thing in barbering right like when a motherfucker is too crispy i'm like just shave his head and draw a marker line. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it looks fucking foolish, right? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Make it nice, but don't make it too crispy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. And, and that's what this new record is. Like, it's 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 there. It's a fucking hardcore record, I'm, and, I'm, and I'm proud of it. And I really am fucking proud of it. And But it took me... It took me a minute, you know, because, like, digest it and fucking make it a slap shot record. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you know what I mean? Like, and it's... That's just been the fucking process. And I've heard other guys talk about records like this. I'm like, you fucking douchebag. Yeah, yeah, fucking yeah. blah, blah, blah. But I swear to fucking God. Yeah, yeah. I just, I, I literally didn't get to hear it for fucking forever. So then when songs were trickling in, I'm like, all right, this song's okay. Then I'm like, right, fuck yeah, I love this song. That, you know what I mean? Like when yeah, yeah. The, And then when I got the whole fucking thing, I was like, motherfucker, why did you send these songs? <laughs> like, these are the great songs, you yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, but yeah, like there, there's there's some fucking real there's some fucking bangers on it that I'm 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 really excited about and, and and proud of and I'm I'm looking forward to playing live. Yeah, and and that's what sucks about being a band that's fucking 37 years old. Like, how many? It's hard how, to break new material. How, how many can we bring? Right, two. Yeah, <laughs> three and, at the and, most. <laughs> you know? And it's like it's that's a weird thing, right? Because it's like you're putting out a new record, and is the record for the old fans. Is it trying to get new fans? You know, like what's yeah, the, you yeah. know? Like, I mean, we're still an active band, right? So, yeah. like, so, so, Europeans get it right. Europeans get it right. Like, if you're just going to be a nostalgia band, they'll treat you as a nostalgia band. If you're an active working band, they're going to treat you as an active working yeah, band. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Americans don't give a fuck. Yeah, yeah. If there's a new record out, they don't give a shit about the new slap shot record. They want to fucking step on it. Yeah, fucking, yeah. Man, like, you know, I don't blame them. It's fine. It's yeah, a good yeah, song. Yeah, yeah. But like, yeah, yeah. Like, but Europeans, yes. 100% want. Yeah. No, but, you know, with the progression of the man, that's what I was saying. It was like, it, the one thing is, it's fucked up, but it's easier to record a good sounding record nowadays than it was back then. Yes. So, you saw, like, it was weird because Back on the Map was recorded pretty well. And then Step on it came out and it was like wicked low. Like, you know, and it was like weird. Yeah. But Should, it was great. Guitar tone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But because I saw Slapshot. All the time back then, I knew the songs, and I, you know, so you equated it more with the live than the song. And then sixteen valve hate was was done very well, and it, so, you could so, hear the record. So, so that's the thing. Like Jack hates his vocals on sixteen valve hate, and I think they're the best. Yeah, I yeah, think they're the yeah, fucking yeah, best. yeah. But yeah, no, like he thinks they're too buried. He thinks he, he thinks he's blown out and all that. And like, but all the fans think it's. That's fucking, a great record. It's a great record. Yeah, front yeah. to back, it's a fucking great record. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, front front to back. I, I, me personally. So, so this record. Sometimes vocals don't need to be the, as prominent. They need to be in the mix, like as yeah, part of the yeah. music. Yeah, you know, you don't like as long as people can hear the words. You know, yeah, I mean? you can hear the words and all that. But like, like coming out of the era of Craig Silverman, right? Like, so, so our our former guitar player Dom uh, played guitar on this. Like, it, it, it's not. It's not Craig Silverman, so it's not as aggressive, per se, yeah, uh, uh, tone wise as as Craig was. So it's yeah. like, had it had had the vocals been buried more like that during the Craig Silverman era, era, may, maybe that would have worked. But like, again, I, I I dig it for what it is, and I'm I'm looking for because it's not even completely done. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah I, it's still I, working I saw, on it. Yeah. I still haven't heard a master. Because right? here's the difference, right? You can hear a mix, but then when you hear a master, it's still a whole. That's a whole different fucking thing. Yeah, I mean, I would like to think my ears are that good, but who who the fuck knows? Yeah, no, <laughs> I no. might not notice a difference. You know? <laughs> no, you'll notice a difference, but you got to take a piss. I have to piss. Yeah, we're right, gonna pause we'll, one we'll take more another time. Break. <laughs> All right, we're back. We're back. Yeah. So, <laughs> Here's the thing, we're not doing the M4, so I can't just like bug out. Yeah, I know. Like, it's well, good. Well, it's good. Can fucking I can fucking Joe talk dumb shit, yeah. So so everybody at home, I have to let you know, since the last M4 with with Mark and Joe and um it's me and you uh, Danny. And Danny, and yeah. Danny. Danny. So there's been there's been a group text <laughs> <laughs> that has been fucking nonstop. Nonsense. <laughs> nonstop hilarity. Yeah. Since, like and sometimes um, I don't want it to go that far because I'm like, let's save that for the next time we do an M4. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, 
It it literally yeah, yeah nonstop since the last time. When was that? Like two months ago? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. It, it's like, a pretty much daily, multiple what, what, times a day. Some dumb shit is getting posted. Yeah, literally. Yeah, like every day. Yeah, it, like, yeah. I, and I feel bad because. I have to work all day. Like, yeah, I don't know so what don't the I. fuck Joe and everybody else does. Everyone's I know, working. I know Mark works hard, but it's like, motherfucker, he's got a lot of time. Like, when he's not mowing lawns to fucking chime in. When he's driving to the next uh, to the next <laughs> site, yeah. yeah. But, yeah, no, no. That's the beauty of this. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's funny. Yeah. Like, no, it brought us all together. Is, no, no, but we're all friends in real life, yeah. so it makes sense. You know what I mean? But Danny's a little removed out in Phoenix, but yeah, he so, chimes so. in. He chimes in. Kids. <laughs> He's a good kid. Yeah, yeah. Danny's the dude that knocked out Danzig. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just super funny. Like, like, like the first couple times I was in Germany, right? They're like, uh, "Do you know the Buddha?" It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He fucking lives up the street, dude. Like, yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, like we don't all go to the same fucking bar and hang out, but yeah, 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 yeah. the city is fucking a lot smaller. The city is the same size as Baltimore, right? Yeah, like, yeah, a yeah. Fucking small ass city. It ain't that big. Everyone knows everyone for yeah. the most part in Boston. Yeah, for the most part. For the most part, yeah. It's literally not that fucking big. Yeah, doesn't mean we hang out. Yeah, yeah. I gotta. Um, we don't need to address this here, but offline, I gotta pick your brain. I got something. That thing I got brewing in June, I got to figure out. So no, well, no, no, you can't. You can't just tease it like that. <laughs> like, like, just, let's fucking brainstorm it right now, live. Yeah. This is this is how it works, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's the thing. Is like we're, I'm so used to just fucking talking. Like yeah. you know what I mean. Like we go all over the place. But um, in June, there's going to be a chop ahead twenty uh, first anniversary party. I'm not going to announce all the bands yet, even though uh, two of them are confirmed. But I need to find some other bands for that. So I want to pick your brain off. We don't have to do it on yeah, mic. Yeah, I'm off not. mic, I want to pick your brain about, like, who might be yeah, to get a, Yeah, get out to the East Coast. Yeah, or East Coast bands that, you know. Yeah. Yeah, we can work that out. Yeah. Get, there's going to be a big fucking party in June. Yeah, in June. So save the month. <laughs> save the month of June. <laughs> I'm not going to be here. I'm going to be in fucking Europe. I'm, yeah. I'm going to be in Europe. It's a, a full speed ahead uh, uh, and chop ahead uh, event, so it'll be a good time no matter what. And we'll we'll have a Packer on uh, live remote. Uh, <laughs> you know, get, the funny thing is we can fucking do that now. Like, we, have the we have the technology. We have fucking the technology. Fucking bananas, yeah. I can put, put you on the right jumbo on the tron. Yeah, right on the, <laughs> screen, on, the, on the screen in the back. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so. So that's it. This is what the fuck I'm up to. Truth, I love you. Yeah, and, and um, oh, we got to mount. We got to announce uh, the first American War Machine show in a couple of years. Uh, yes, yes, April thirtieth. Yes, uh, yes. Our boys. Is it April thirtieth? April thirtieth. Yeah, our boys in the um the sixty nine Speed Boys, a uh, little chopper crew from uh, Western Massachusetts, are doing a show a lot uh, in Florida at in Haverhill. Hold on, let me pull up the flyer. It's going to be a chopper show and a punk rock show. Chopper show and a punk rock show. And so check this out. So that's my stepson's father. I told you, this city is this fucking big. It's a small world. We all know each other. Saturday, April 30th at 576. 576. I think it's at Amvets Hall. Primost Street in Haverhill, Mass. It is a... It doesn't say on this one. Well, just uh, follow at Big Truth at Believe in Packer at Chop Ahead or yeah, at Full or Speed Ahead or uh, the Sixty Nine Speed Boys have like six F T W nine. Yeah, some, some bullshit. We'll like link that. them too. Um, I, I'm just bad at. I'm bad at. Instagram names. Yeah, I'm bad at Instagram, Instagram names. So. Yeah, but we'll link them. But there, there's more information. I, I will be. I only say follow us because we're posting the flyer. Yeah. On the flyer, there's a link to them, like to how to find um, out more information. American War Machine, No Heads, Slaughter Boys, Stereo Vultures. So Stereo Vultures is fucking. Um, my boy Julian. Uh, old punk rock dude from fucking Boston that yeah. moved to LA and now he's back. He was in another band years ago. My boy. Nonetheless, I'm I'm stoked to fucking play with those guys. It's gonna be fucking good. And th this other And it's a chopper show on top of that. So you know what I mean? Whether you're into music or not, like there's gonna be motorcycles and yeah. uh, if you yeah. Uh at F six T nine W is the Instagram. Yeah, follow at, that for more information. At F six T nine W. 
Get your Dakota ring out. 16 Niner. <laughs> Roger will go. Um, no, but it, honestly, shout out to Ellie for fucking having us. He's a fucking yeah. he's a good kid. Professor Falcon is uh his uh he, he's a tattoo artist. Good yeah, kid. man. We are fucking it's a it's a good scene here in Massachusetts. Uh you know what I mean? For the most part. But uh yeah, man. There's a, there's a bunch of chopular kids, but the 60, Who gives a fuck? 69 yeah. speed boys are all right. <laughs> it's always, at the end of the day, real recognizes real. Yeah. Dudes that are in it for a fad will fucking come and go. Changing of the God happens all the time. Been in, been all the worlds we're in for decades. We'll be here when it's uh, not cool again and fucking, who cares? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But, yes. Uh, hey, for real, thank you guys for listening to give a fuck about what the fuck I got to say. Yes. Thank yes. you, Truth, for having me. Yes. Yeah. I love you. And I love you, brother. And uh, that's it. Come to our fucking bar so we don't fucking. <laughs> so we don't go out of business. <laughs> yeah. <in> a... <laughs> yeah. Come see this shit live. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. In, in real time. Dude, you know what was crazy, man? It was fucking weird. But the last episode was, you know, live. We did a live show at Mama Tried, right? I'd go. And it was fucking great. And um, it was cool because uh, it was a lot of guests. But it was like we had like fifteen minute segments. Yeah, yeah. And so I needed like Ken to actually produce the sh- the segment. Yeah, yeah. So Ken kind of had all the guests corralled, and like he'd give That's me awesome. like a two minute warning, a five the whatever <laughs> warning. But the there was like they videoed it. The lights were so bright I couldn't see shit. So I couldn't. I didn't even know who was coming up next. <laughs> yeah, and it was sure. cool. But like we kept it moving, and um, you know it's weird like. Uh, shout out to Mama Tried for having us on and for putting yeah, what, what, a live, what a great a, fucking a live show. podcast event. Like no. uh, I, I've been on. there with you. Like yeah, Mama dude. Tried such a fucking round show. Dude. They 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 treat the fucking vendors, they treat the fucking guys with bikes there. Yeah. Like, like yeah, like like that's what we aspire to do with our show. Yeah. Uh you know, they, they they do it right out there. But what I mean is like it was cool to be able like like a lot of podcasts do a live event. It was cool for them to teach chance. To be the first, like, kind of bigger of like our world shows to yeah, like yeah. to embrace that and be like, yeah, let's have some live shit go on. Um, it was it was just cool to do that. Like, we need to do that. Like, I don't know where or how else, but we need to do another one, like, with, like in our world. <laughs> and we then can, we can make it work. We make it work. <laughs> we'll make it work, yeah. and then we'll get then we'll get canceled. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you understand? Yeah, like. But because I because people Cause don't there's understand a lot of jokes. shit that get that does get edited. <laughs> no, it, 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 like, I mean not 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 no, like, I know. not like canceled shit, yeah, but yeah. like yeah, just just dumb shit. Like I have to pee. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? yeah. So, <laughs> but what I meant is like doing doing this in front of a in a venue is fucking fun, and yeah. we we got to do this. We got to figure out a way to do this more. Um, and uh, but yeah, man, fucking you're my brother. Fucking love you. I and, love you. Uh, Come on anytime. I can't wait. We got to do another M4. We just got to no. figure out a fucking a theme. <laughs> not that there's ever a theme that I, it gets yeah. stuck to. I, 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 like I, I, have nothing, drunk, I, I have nothing drunk. else to talk about yet. Yeah, my, 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 my life ain't that fucking interesting. No, no. I mean a theme like, like, uh, like you know, we did like Christmas horror movies or fucking yeah, whatever yeah. the fucking we do. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's real. funny because it's, it's good because it's like we got a good crew. Like, we got me and you that are just fucking shitheads. <laughs> Correct. And, and then Mark's like a punk rock shithead. And then <laughs> Joe and fucking Danny, who are like like fucking movie nerds. Nerd shitheads. Yeah, nerd shitheads. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, like they go deep. Like, we give like the surface level reviews of shit. Yeah, like, you know I, what I, I mean? Like, they, they go they fucking go, they deep. They go deep in a hole. They go yeah. deep I'm and like, hard. Fuck. Like, I'm like, I'm like, am I just not cultured enough yeah, to know no, about this shit? Yeah, like, <laughs> sorry, I don't know about this obscure Lithuanian <laughs> horror movie that came out in 1974, like that, you know, with a no. theatrical release of like three dates and whatever <laughs> but and um and with th- four different posters one of which is banned and fucking you know what i mean yeah yeah, yeah but but yeah no 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 it's fucking good yeah because they those are the deep cut dudes and we're like me you and mark it's just like the fucking idiots like you know what i mean like fucking <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you you lumped me in <laughs> or, or, or i'm lumped in with you shitheads because i thought i was the only shithead right <laughs> no no yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, thought, I was like i don't know what these fucking guys are talking yeah. about no 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 like like i don't know some stuff like you know what I mean? but 
you know, but that's what's cool about that one. That's like, yeah. it's just fun. We talk about wow. music. We talk about, we used to talk more about motorcycles, but now that those guys are kind of taking, uh, they, kind got, of taking they got no bikes. They don't got bikes. So then they're, they're not, they're yeah. not taking as a uh, next time. Yeah. Next time I start talking about some nerd shit, I'll talk about how I blew the fucking motor on my shovel. Yeah, exactly. We can, exactly. we can talk about how we're going to fix that, but we can also bring in some more bike guys too. You know what I mean? We'll, we'll, no. we'll switch it up. We'll switch it up. Let's switch up. Let's go to fucking, let's go to Vander's hospital room. Dude. <laughs> Live event. <laughs> we're gonna record, dude. I'm gonna hit him up. Let's like, do it, as bro. soon as he's feeling a little better, we're gonna go. We're gonna go visit see Vanda <laughs> and record a podcast in his fucking live in his it. hospital room. I'm fucking with it. All right, Vanda, if you're listening, we're coming. We're coming. Bro. And the next M4 with yeah. Vanda. Yeah, absolutely. All right. On that note. All right. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Truth. All right, brother. <laughs>